You just stop that right there, Library Dork, you scamp. You know you're not the first comment. By several minutes, you're not the first. Don't say first. You know you're not the first comment. Don't start coming any... You, you scamp. You silly man. You silly man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stream. Uh, how you guys doing? Uh, today we have no real specified theme, nothing too specific, nothing, uh, you know. I have a few things planned, but no real theme. Um, you know, we're going to take some, sub some suggestions and things, if people have any. Uh, but we got a few things uh, already. Uh, hello everybody. How's it going? The theme is trash, right. I mean, it's a pretty catch-all theme, yeah. Uh, five bucks from Aurelia is perfect to listen to whilst a game 
like a true gamer. So not like Sniper Wolf. Okay. Well, enjoy, enjoy. You know, uh, I've been playing a lot of uh, Baldur's Gate 3, which I don't really like that much, uh, and Divinity Original Sin 2, which I do like that much, uh, uh, both by the same developer. Uh, Baldur's Gate 3, it's fine, it's just that the, I don't know, the, the combat is pretty difficult, but mainly it's like every dialogue has some kind of skill check, and even if I'm proficient in, like, lock picking or in like you know not just dialogues but like anything that you know lock picking you'll walk up to a telescope and there will be like a perception check and then i'll be i'll be pers i'll be proficient in these things and then i'll do a check and i'll get a fucking like four and i'll need a 10 and i'm like well what's the point of this it's like i don't know there's just a, a level where i'm like man i don't know just make it like a, a di uh, uh, make it a make it a coin toss because it feels like more of a coin toss than a dice roll it feels more more like you either do it or you don't. I, I don't know, but uh, but yeah, no, I've been playing. I've been playing those uh, re recently. So so uh, those are games that you kind of need to turn off a lot of the time when you're fighting people. Sometimes that can take a while, but a lot of the time in any kind of quest or something, you'll probably want to turn off your your YouTube video or what have you. Your uh, 40 minute video of a guy playing every spider-man game and ranking them you'll probably want to turn that down because there's voice acting and stuff so if that's the type of game you're playing then maybe that'll be an issue but uh, if you're playing like a, if you're playing like a, if you're playing like a uh, I don't know a call of duty or something then this one might be for you I don't know um, we got uh, 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 two bucks from autistic wolf not first thanks for the Saturday stream there uh, well no problem uh, you're not the first and you won't be the last. <laughs> um, uh, you're not the first, uh, but you're 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 welcome here, and uh, you're welcome for the for the for the Saturday. Wait, it's Saturday today. What the fuck? It's Saturday? No shit. Huh. I thought today was Sunday. Well, how about that? I think I got the entire day wrong. Oh, that's crazy. Uh, well, well, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, 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 uh, I, I, I thought, yeah, but wow, I really, I really did just completely think the day was the wrong day. How about that? Good for me. Good for me. I wonder which day I, f I wonder which day I forgot existed. I wonder which day I missed the existence of. Mm. Well, uh, well, what, you know, Saturday stream it is, I guess. I thought it was, a, I, wow. Well, yeah, good for, good for me. Um, uh, it's, uh, five bucks from Brendan.srt, perfect, tr uh, tr uh, perfect, or some, some, some dollars for Devil, Devil's Rosemary. Yeah, I mean, I'm, ha I'm needing some of that right now. I'm needing some of that right now, clearly, because my mind is not affected enough by having apparently lost an entire day to trash. I'm, I'm blaming the trash. I'm blaming the memory hole last night. We watched some, uh, ARG videos and VHS, uh, horror garbage. Some of which was considerably more garbage than others. Some of it was, I mean, none of, none of it was that amazing, but some of it was extremely embarrassing. Uh, there was a thing called Memory Hole, which was kind of interesting, but uh, there was, there was, uh, there was, there was definitely some stuff that there that, like, man, I felt like I was aging in real time watching that fucking bootleg FNAF thing. Stick around for the next time we do Spooky Stream. Uh, which will be next stream. Ne whatever the next stream is, that we'll, we'll be doing something spooky. It won't necessarily be more ARG analog horror shit, but it'll be uh, something. We'll be doing something spooky next stream. This is a non-spooky October stream, as schedule regularly scheduled non-spooky. Um, so uh, the, we're going to get started here, and um, we're going to begin with uh, something I actually saw. I... I I, I popped onto my Discord this morning and I noticed on the, the announcements thing, uh, uh, MOSFET, who I don't know if MOSFET is here, but he posted something from uh, cbc.ca slash news slash Canada slash Saskatchewan. Uh, somewhere from Saskatchewan, a storm is brewing. Ladies and gentlemen, do y'all remember Romana Didulo, the queen of canada who was uh who was uh, uh assaulting some kind of police station in uh peterborough ontario i believe it was uh that was back last year in like i think august ish of last year 
Uh, well, uh, October of tw next year, she's been br she's been g moving across Canada on a great pilgrimage to the to the great lands of Saskatchewan, and um, <clears throat> cult of self proclaimed Queen of Canada threatens Sask village with public executions. The RCMP has opened a temporary detachment in Richmond. Uh, Romana Digulo and her cult made their way to the village of Richmond, Sask, on September 15th and have been staying at the former Richmond school after being invited by the property owner. It is blocked off to the public. An extremist cult leader and her followers have set up camp in a small Saskatchewan village. Every time I hear the word Saskatchewan, I always think of that song that Joel plays about, like... Uh, oh, Canada! The, 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 the lady that sings about Canada, and she sings about how great they are, how, how nice they are in Canada. Uh, and, and she, she has this part where she's like, Saskatchewan! The Yukon! I don't know. But, uh, uh, a small Saskatchewan village, 83 kilometers northwest of Maple Creek, near the Alberta border. The group has called for public execution of elected officials and other members in and around the community. Elected officials. So, so thankfully this is just a, this is essentially what happens when Neil Breen stops being a filmmaker. The, the, this is, a, a bunch of wackos decide to get together and go, like, we're gonna take the fight to the woke moralists down with the mo down with the woke moralists down with the and and you know um i guess i guess whoever uh i guess in this case it's going to be it's like the it's the neil breen uh uh scene where he denounces everybody and talks about how he killed 3 million people today it's that they want to like wipe out all of the objectively bad people that romana digulo has decided are not acceptable in her country, in her rule. I guess nobody who works for the existing uh, administration is going to be able to live under Romana's rule. So that's fair. That's fair. I mean, that's just typical practice, really. So, I mean, we really shouldn't be too... I don't know what Canada... I don't know what the government's getting so upset about here. This doesn't seem... I mean, this just seems normal. Um, she has amassed thousands of followers by pushing... Uh, cons uh, theory, conspiracy theories and what she calls decrees through social media, particularly Telegram, a messaging app that has grown in popularity with the far right. Oh man, all of the far left extremist uh, 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 furries that f that use Telegram for their nefarious purposes are probably are probably just over here like, what the hell, man? Um, but yeah, she is a um, she is a known far right con QAnon conspiracy theorist. She has declared herself with the Queen of Canada, among other titles, including uh, the National Indigenous Leader, which I'm not sure if she's indigenous because she is from like, I believe she is maybe indigenous to fucking the Philippines where she comes from, but I don't think she's indigenous to the Canadian uh, environment. No, I don't believe she, I don't, I don't believe, no. Uh, Digulo and some of her followers who call themselves the Kingdom of Canada have been traveling around the country for some time. On September 13th, they were forced out of Camsack, Saskatchewan by the town. Oh man, when you get for, forced out of Camsack, Sask by the townspeople. Forced out by the townspeople. By the town, I love the use of the word townspeople. Like, I can't, the, the only way you can picture that is with torches and pitchforks. And just like, get out of here, we don't like your kind! Uh, which is how they sound in Saskatchewan. Um, uh, the cult then made its way to the village of Richmond on September 15th and has been staying at the former Richmond school, having been invited by the property owner. Uh, the mayor, Brad Miller, says village residents do not feel safe with them here. It's been escalating and the people are getting more and more tired of this and uh, more and more health, mental health concerns, uh, more scared, Miller said. Thomas F uh, F F Fugazi of Community TV, a local independent news outlet based in Medicine Hat, Alta, uh, has been uh, covering the cult's presence in Richmond. He says the people there are nervous about the group's extremist beliefs, uh, their behavior, and their potential impact on the children in the village. Oh, the, yeah, of course, the children. Well, I guess it's not... I guess we should think of the children in this scenario, because if you do remember, there was the infamous Romana Digilo... Uh, I forget, I forget what the say, does anybody remember what the phrase was that was on the baby clothes that you could buy for your baby? You could get, 
uh, babe, um, you could get baby clothes that had Romana's face with sunglasses, and there was like fire, and there was like words, and I it was some weird like slogan. It was some don't don't tread on me shit. I don't know if anybody remembers. Um, uh, he's a patient boy. He waits. Yeah, it's the it's the battle of wounded knee. Uh, she is the QQQ. She's the big Q. Uh. This sounds like something that would happen in the 1880s. Yeah, it was something about Parish. It was like... Oh, yeah, it was Peace and Prosperity or Parish. That's what it was. It was... Yeah. Um, that was the uh, the, wor the words you can have uh, your baby wear on baby clothes. So maybe the threat to the children is, you know, valid. Uh, but that's Brad, Brad Miller over here. And, you know, I'm just not okay with any of this. Uh, the playground, which is near the school, is closed to children to avoid the possibility of a child being confronted. Oh. Oh, yeah, no, I guess this is by the fucking school, so I suppose, yeah, I suppose there's some concern there. Um, on September 24th, after taking note of Camsack's success in driving Digilo and her followers out of town, uh, Richmond villagers protested with signs parading their cars near the school, honking their horns and calling for the cult to leave. The people who were inside the school compound lined, all of them were very agitated, uh, said Fugere of Didulo's followers. Uh, okay, ta okay, the way this is... Okay, never mind. Cease and desist notice. So, yeah, they've taken over a town. She's dressed like... Uh, I mean, she's got the fucking cotton candy... Like, like can uh, rather, candy cane striped fucking tie there. I mean that's uh that's wild. That's 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 pretty great. <clears throat> Be forewarned and prepared. We the people are now watching you with open eyes. The curtain is drawn. Your future is in your hands, read the post. In the letter the cult threatened that if the village did not follow the decrees of the queen, they would receive uh, judgment and if found guilty of crimes against humanity or treason, would face publicly broadcast execution upon yourselves and undeserved devastation upon your children, grandchildren, and families. I mean, like, I don't understand how people are able to follow this at this point. You have to really be full-on into the cult by, by, this, by this stage uh, to, to be... to be, like, able to hear this and be like, Yep! Yeah, Yep, we're gonna kill all those treason people. I guess because they've convinced you that the, like, COVID is just a conspiracy and none of that was real. So anybody who works at, like, the Department of Agriculture or something, uh, they're definitely in on it. And, uh, you know, they should probably also get their heads chopped off on TV in front of their children. Um, so... You know, but yeah, I don't know who wouldn't follow. This is like when you design your character to, you know, you you completely d dress your character exclusively for stats. She's got like plus 12 in speech right now, but she looks like a fucking goober. Uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense, but, you know, for some reason people are following her. So I guess it, it is it is perfectly video game logic. Um, uh so, you know, more power to, to Romana, I guess. You know, you take down those fascist oppressor, oppressors in the fucking uh, parks department or whatever. Yeah, cousin Jeffrey in the parks department! He got his fucking head chopped off by Romana Digilo, Jerry! So, that's your cousin! Eh? Uh, um, yeah, so uh, Romana's, Romana, Romana's up to some business. And uh, hopefully, you know, hopefully she's... Uh, I don't know, apprehended in some way. That's some wild shit. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let's see. Uh, two bucks from Victor Martinez. Victor Rodriguez Martinez. Um, the weather is cool today in Central Texas. It's pretty cool today as well. It finally, the, the, the strange... Oh, it's 420, everybody. Hang on, hang on. I mean, I have it here already anyways. I'm going to go Yeah, the strange heat wave that's been happening over the past, like, week and a half of, uh, fucking October is, uh, no longer a thing. Um, it seems, so that's cool. Um, uh, you know, uh, that's great. Um, uh, we love to see, uh, global warming on a, 
easily digestible scale. It really is good now that it is actually affecting people uh, to the point where it's getting hot in October in, in Toronto. That It's good because now it's, you know, it's to a point where people can't really ignore it that easily, but also, uh, well, it's probably too late. So uh, it's fine. Yeah, that's okay. But uh, thankfully for now, the heat's gone. Uh, five bucks from Aurelius. Would a platformer slash Metroidvania type of game be good for listening? Oh, I would assume so. I think that that would work pretty well. Uh, two bucks from Hunter Moore. Is this like a Heaven's Gate thing? Uh, no, it's more of a... I don't know. What would you even fucking call it? It's very unique. It's a political thing. It's like Romana is the Queen of Canada... It's basically like if Gail Cord Schuler had political power, if that makes sense to anybody. Or even just like Chris Chan, really. It's like it just complete wacky insanity. They're they're apparently genetically breeding white rappers with Filipino people. Uh that's like a thing from the last time we looked at them. I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's insanity. Um I, I, I said Gail in particular because it's like well, she's supposed to be the queen, but then Trump is also in power in her scenario. They would over ultimately overthrow, like, Biden or whoever and reinstate Trump. But then it's like, well, I, you know, I don't know. I can't imagine she would just be cool with that and not be like... Like, in that scenario, if all the pieces aligned, right? You know, I can't imagine that she would be okay with that. And, and with, would be okay with just being the second fiddle leader to Trump. So, I mean, like, you have to imagine, ultimately, she would try to, like, Canada would try to invade the U.S. and, and defeat Trump in, in this scenario. It would be a very interesting alternate history uh, if for, for Alternate History Hub to maybe make a video about. But, thankfully, I don't think we're going to live in that in that history. Um, um, two bucks from Get That Griff. Suggestion, Tyson James... He makes weird rap music. Um, that sounds kind of familiar. I might have looked at that before. Da, da, da. Tyson James. Oh, well, the first thing that comes up is a song called Pedo Peter. Uh, MAGA Boys 2A FBI Raid. There's a song called Rittenhouse. Uh-huh. He makes Christian conservative hip-hop that puts God first. Are you sure he puts God before, like, I don't know, putting down other other people or whatever? Oh, there's a song called Two Genders. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds great. I'm excited. Oh, man. That's a good suggestion. Yeah, man, everybody, you have to give your... You have to give your, uh, you have to give your, your thanks to Get That Griff. He's responsible for the Astro Boy video and Harmony and Horror. And now this, he's good. He's got the good recommendations. He's got the, he's got the good recommendations. Um, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Candy, ki Candy Cane Tie gives you plus six in Charisma. Claw Nug Champ. Yeah, exactly. It's uh, plus, plus two to Suggestion, minus one to Savoir Faire. Makes you look like an idiot, but... You know, people are. Uh, I feel sorry for you, and they wanna. They wanna do. They wanna. You know. Yeah. Um, five bucks from get that griff. I can only suggest more H and H since you laugh like a goober to it. Maybe just one as a treat, Mister Claw. That or the interactive Mario fanfic. Well, uh, I don't think we should do more harmony and horror. I want to dedicate more time to that the next time we do a VHS stream, but maybe the Mario fanfic would be good, but we're going to do your other suggestion first, I think. Five bucks from Victor Rodriguez Martinez. Victor Martinez or Victor is fine if it's easier for you. No, no, I'm I'm content to say the whole thing, you know. Uh you can make it longer if you if you prefer, honestly. Uh if you want to make if you want to make me say it like the long way every single time that's I'm fine with that you know that's okay uh, I'm okay with that um I I'm going down this road and I don't know why I don't know why I've drawn my line in the sand there um <laughs> Yeah no uh uh thank you we're we're going to continue here uh we're going to look at this Tyson James fellow and uh you know he's uh, I guess we'll start with two genders here and this is the lyric video well, America has experienced a rapid, in fact, a massive inflation in genders. 
at one point, biologists were allowed to determine what biology was, and there were two, male and female. Now there's agender, bigender, two spirit. Well, I mean, to... it's because these fucking liberals have decided that gender is different from sexuality, so you you know you have to keep in, keep that in mind. They've for some reason decided that those are different things, even though they ultimately really are are aren't. Uh, don't don't need to be, but I guess they also can be. So I I don't know. I you know why not? Why not? We could go on forever. Huh. Wait, they them his hers. See them. Wait, what are these words? You are. Oh, he's got the make America godly again. I mean, do we call this drip? He's got a he's got a he's got a chain. I like the sun. I like, they're not sunglasses. They're just regular uh, glasses uh, uh, because he's got the soy beta eyes. Um, he's got the soy beta face here too. This is very pog. Um, he, we just need him to be pointing in the background. Uh, that would be that would be perfect. But uh, uh, he's got this beard that uh, you know he's got the thing. It's sort of what I have. The, and it, I I have the issue too where he, he can't really grow the beard to like properly connect. I, I don't know if you're gonna, I don't know if you're gonna be on the, uh, I don't know, he's growing out the beard, it just looks like a neck beard, I mean it doesn't look good, it, it's not, it's not a good situation, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna wanna at least trim it. You're confused, why you talking in thirds, you can only be one, it's not what you prefer, you're either one of the two, whatever's between your two legs is the proof, whoever gave you the option to choose, man just sit down and listen, I'm breaking the news. Whoever gave you the option to choose. Well, I mean, again, it's because the, it's because we've decided that sexuality and gender are different, and people view gender as like a a thing. Uh, I don't know. It's a very fucking ephemeral gossamer concept. Let me tell you that much. Uh, I don't know why. I I I don't I don't know as a as a as a as a cishet why it's so important to to people, but <laughs> you know, I also don't see why they. Uh, can't uh, necessarily choose that nobody's are arguing the sexuality it, the gender is technically that's you know I don't think he understands what the argument is here maybe he wouldn't uh, necessarily respect it or whatever but you know it's a di it's technically a di he's not really arguing the same thing it's only two genders your parents are jacking you up they might as well put some crack in your cup you came out innocent now you're corrupt now you stand on the bridge and you just want to jump <laughs> Got these pink hair devils teaching the kids in the school they are vessels used by the enemy. He's just a rebel. What? Let's turn up the cat. Okay, did you just like run out of rhymes? Now you stand on the bridge and you just want to jump. Oh, okay, put up. You came out in this and now you're corrupt. Now you stand on the bridge and you just want to jump. Okay, so it's like if you if you transition, you're gonna want to kill yourself. But a lot of people want to kill themselves before they transition. I don't think that has necessarily one thing or, or another to do with it. I mean, it's probably a factor, but I don't think that... Uh, I don't know if you could just pin it on that. Got these pink that's, that's, that seems like a weird scapegoat to just, like, draw the line there and be like, That's gotta be the reason that they wanted to do that. It can't be any other reason or societal thing or anything else about them that... No, it, that's that's why. It's because they transitioned. That's the reason. It's like, okay, I guess if that's convenient, it's probably a lot more complicated than that. Hair devils, teaching the kids devil. in the school, they are vessels. What does that mean? Te teaching the kids in the school, they are vessels. That sounds like God stuff. I mean, that sounds like your little vessels for Jesus or whatever. Jesus is going to fill you with his light, that kind of bullshit. What the fuck, vessels? What are you talking about? What, what, what? I am very confused. I can't figure out what he's getting at with that, but I do understand the pink-haired devils. That's fair. The enemy, he's just a rebel. Let's turn up the kettle when God gets a hold of him. He won't be gentle. How dare you misgender me? My pronouns are them and theirs. Get it right. Well, I mean, you know, a good point that I think Adam from YMS made one point. Oh, these are all good faces. Uh, at one point, I feel like this guy wouldn't appreciate it if somebody called him a woman. I mean, it's not really the same thing, but I don't know, if you want to get technical, like, if you really want to get technical, I think you would care about pronouns, too, to some extent. I don't know. Yo, 
my brain's in a blender If you state the obvious, you will be censored God made your body and you're just the renter He's the inventor and he You know, I saw that this was a lyric video And I was like, okay, so it's gonna be like just a static image with the lyrics on No, 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 it's a full And like when I first when I first clicked on it, you know, there was the um, Tucker Carlson part, and I'm like, oh, is this going to be like a real music video? And then it cuts to this guy. And you're inclined to say that this is a music video? Or it really isn't. I mean, it's just, it, it cuts from the Tucker Carlson to him just standing in an alley. Um, and it's just like this one angle where there's two of him for some reason. I don't know why there needs to be two of him. But there's two of him, I guess. Uh, it sounds like you're pretty two spirited there. Maybe he's having he has some identity issues, you know. Um, but uh, he's he's there's two of them in this alley, uh, two of them. Sorry, two of them. Um, they them. Um, and 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 yeah, it's not really a music video. I guess it is fair to call this just a lyric video because it's very it's so lazy that if you called it a music video, that would be. That would be a little much, but calling it a lyric video, you know, it's a little better than what I had in mind, but it's way worse than a music video. So, it, yeah, I guess that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Gotta give him that one. Okay, well, but again, I mean, we always have to have this debate and nobody ever really, ever, nobody ever really seems to, like, stop and really critically think about this, but... Why did he make these people feel so bad about themselves and then also have the option... And the ability and, like, the thought in their brains to transition. Again, if you're, if, if the god that you're talking about is, like, so powerful and great and, and whatever, you'd think that he would be able to either, for one, orchestrate a world where everybody's fucking happy and they don't feel the need to transition, uh, or two, orchestrate a world where people don't even have the concept of it, uh, or three, at least keep some of these people away from the con the very concept of it. But no, I guess he's such a an ineffectual god that can do so little, according to this guy. That I I, I don't know. I I don't I don't know. He, he's apparently unable to do anything about all of these fucking people all over the planet who who don't conform to this thing that he says that you know God made and all this stuff. It's like, well, I think you might have to just. Uh, Acknowledge that if God made all of this situation, he might have also created the possibility for these things to happen. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. It, 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 it's such an easy thing to be like, well, God says this. It's like, but, okay, but all of these people are miserable and suffering. And, and what, what does this do for them? I, I, under, I, gr I grasp that, I grasp that what you're telling me is that, I gotcha, I gotcha. But he made the whole situation that we're living in, right? So it's within his... Fu He's the dungeon master of this campaign. So it's within his fucking purview of the plot and scope of this fucking campaign that we're all playing that is life. That people have come to the conclusion that they can transition and want to do such a thing. And so in what way is that not either God's fault... Or, uh, or something that God's okay with. I don't know. I guess Satan? Probably Satan. I guess Satan would be the answer. There's only two genders. I love the science and it says there's only two genders. Google just told me there's 70 genders. I need the evidence. Where's the defenders? Maybe you're brain dead. You lost your receptors. They banned me because I'm a repeating offender. These are the stakes in their race. I am not giving... Okay, all right, all right. He doesn't, he doesn't like, he doesn't like the, tr uh, the, the Transformers and all of that. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do, uh, uh, a different one here. We got Toxic. Raise them right. That's right. Indoctrinate your kids into the cult of our beliefs because our beliefs are better than their beliefs. And if they say that their beliefs are better than our beliefs, then they're wrong because they don't have our beliefs. And if they say that their beliefs supersede the... Don't worry about them. They're wrong. They're infidels and they're wrong. Raise their, your kids right. That's good. Don't let them think for themselves at all. That would be scary. You might They might not align with your worldview. That might challenge you in some way. Um... Uh, gun totem Bible thumper. I mean, is this like grifting? Is, I don't know. Do we believe that he's even he even believes this shit? This feels like one of those. 
I don't know, maybe he does. I think he probably does. I think he- he probably does. He just probably got these beliefs from a lot of people who don't. Uh, po uh popular, uh, we got the Rittenhouse, uh, song. With three million views, damn, he pullin'. We got a beta song, Mask Off, oh, he's- uh, oh man, he's- he's not- he means business here. He's got the baseball bat. Die, sis, gum. Uh, uh, two genders. Is this a different- is this the same song, but there's like a full music video for it? Oh, wow. Proud American. Uh, proud American. Wow. Wow. White boy. WHITE BOY! WHITE BOY! Well, you can't just take the name White Boy. That's also already a very famous classic song that I'm sure you were aware of when you made it. You can't call this White Boy. It was the mass murders in El Paso the and Dayton. The man's very popular like ratio on this one. WHITE BOY! Well, let's start out by red. defining about white quote, privilege. <laughs> white supremacy, that's the problem. It's one of the things about white privilege, like white Russia, people don't realize they have it because it's yeah. inherent. You could be a rapper, it don't matter if you're black or white. Oh man, I don't even care if you're black or white. Well, it doesn't matter if you're... Black or white, no, but I mean that it's just extremely reductive. It's like it doesn't matter. You can be a white rapper, obviously. There are many very successful and quite good white rappers. Uh it's just that there's a certain stigma in the air about white rappers because of people like you. <laughs> uh um, they come up on my head, I just attack the mic. They looking at my skin like you a cracker, right? Coach a vulture man ahead of bike. I mean, at least this doesn't sound like... At least it doesn't sound like lyrical, miracle, spherical, hierical. You know, um, he, he's just... It's kind of a normal rap, you know? It sounds a little bit... Wondering if you know all about it. I know I'm not a, a, a lame, lame beat. Uh, not a fan of the beat, um, but his lyrics, I mean... He's got this like military outfit on. I'm sure you were. I'm sure you've covered wars, dude. Life, I'm like, huh? what you know about being doubted? I'm wondering if you know all about it. I know I'm not alone, but I'm feeling all surrounded. And God is on the throne, so I'm feeling all grounded. I'm mounting. I'm posting like a stop sign. Wonder when these liberals are gonna stop crying. <laughs> yeah, when are the liberals gonna stop crying? Says the man who's been making like whining music videos for like years. Um, I mean, the, you know, the thing is all of the like liberal tears and like owning the libs and all of that, that's like kind of a, it's, it's outdated in a sense because like the term, the time when it was the liberal people on the internet who were being the whiniest, loudest, annoyingest minority of people, you know, who weren't a, who were not able to let anything go by without making it political. That, that day is kind of past. And nowadays, the, 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 the whiny, crying, uh, fucking political, uh, idiots on the internet who have to complain about things that don't really have anything to do with politics really at all are, uh, are, are, are on the other side of things, typically. Not always, but typically. Uh, certainly there's uh, uh, exceptions to that. But, I mean, it is just funny. This did come out, like four years ago but uh you know even four years ago this was a little bit out of out of time uh uh less so than now but uh, yeah i don't know the the whole when are these liberals gonna stop crying in your video whining about how people won't stop making fun of you because you're a white rapper i don't know uh i don't know you let me know when the you you let me know when the tears stop flowing my faith in never dying, you can stop trying Homosexuality is sinning, you should stop lying <laughs> You lying to the people, they say that evil good and the good now is evil Provoking civil war, saying we are not equal And Jesus came, you don't want to be here for the sequel, I'm telling you and Jesus don't want to be here for the sequel, or... Or wait, what's the... Uh, do we have lyrics or saying we are not equal and no, Jesus... No, there's no lyrics available, that's a shame. Jesus... Came, you don't want to be here for the sequel, I'm telling Jesus, he don't want to be here for the sequel. So, like, he's not coming back. Jesus is not gonna rise again because of you fucking liberals complaining that this guy can't rap, okay? It's all because of you. It's all because of you. Um, so I hope you're happy about that. 
And blood is gonna flood to the bridles He coming back to shatter all your idols You wanna grab a rifle, but you have been stripped from that right You're headed to the judgment, it's final <laughs> Yeah, when all the liberals decide that they want to grab a rifle to, to, to rally against the uh, I don't know, the Shan Chan invading army or something. I'm not sure who uh, they would need their rifle for. I guess, it, like, the the, the revelate. Are we talking about, like, the apocalypse? The, I don't know. I don't know what the... Okay. You ever read the Bible? I would rather die than deny disciple. And you cannot run. Nobody's good, not one. That's why I never leave the house without a gun. Random shots. That's why I never leave the house. Okay, wait. Disciple, and you cannot run. Nobody's good, not one. That's why I never leave the house without a gun. Oh, that is absolutely so unfortunate to hear. Wow. That's a really, really unfortunate thing to hear. No, we got... Disciple, and you cannot run. You cannot run. Nobody's good, not one. That's why I never leave the house without a gun. Damn. Who hurt you? Nobody's good, not one. That's why I never leave the house without a gun. Yeah, no, that's good. I really want everybody in society to be armed and think that everybody around them is a horrendous piece of shit who should die. That's good. PvP enabled zone, right. Um, uh, I guess that's, you know, some, some people are into that sort of thing. People tend to like it, but I don't know. Uh, it just seems very sad to me. It's another white boy kill another white noise deal with the spirit on me. No, I got the light, boy. You don't want to fight, boy. You yeah, this is infinitely worse than white boy. I mean, at least that's memorable. This whole song feels like I'm sleepwalking through it. I mean, like, it doesn't have that, like, dreamy fucking whatever you call it. Um, that new style of, like, cloud cloud rap or whatever, like the Travis Scott Astro World kind of thing. It doesn't have that where it feels kind of kind of dreamy. And it doesn't have, like, the, the the sort of trap thing of, like, um, you know, you can't understand the lyrics. Like, it's it's going at a reasonable pace. It's a reason... It's a normal song. It's a perfectly normal song. It's just so boring and, and like, I don't know, uninspired. Like, it, the, the beat isn't changing. The flow isn't changing. The whole thing is just... It's... God, this sucks. You... I mean, you can do this song if you wanted to do this song, and and you you wanted to change it up with some interesting flows, and you do like a triplet verse or something, you do something cool. But 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 man, it's just funny how often people like how infrequent it is that you get something that's like this t sort of I don't know politically tasteless in a way, but also. Like, actually competent? I, I don't know. Like, wh where is that? Why is it always that it's just complete incompetence? I want the, the version of this song that's like, Well, I don't agree with what he's saying, but the actual flow is great. Wow, the instrumental is hopping. He really knows how to make this fucking song. But, but he's also, it's also clan music. Like, I mean, this isn't, but you know. You know, hypothetically, I, I, I would I would love to hear that song, <laughs> hypothetically, but I never I don't think that exists. It's always the, the Venn diagram doesn't overlap. You have to be like a certain level of not insane, I feel, to, to be able to make something that's competent. I, I don't know. Just a certain level. There's plenty of crazy people that made art, but I don't know. This is garbage. Hey, hey. The light, boy. You don't want to fight, boy. You about to hear it on three. One, two, hey. Yeah, this is not clan music. This is just a guy whining because I don't know something about he's a white rapper. I don't. It's I I don't know. It's like yeah, you can be a white rapper, but songs like this are not fucking helping. Um, uh, okay. Uh, we'll do like one more here. Um, but yeah, he's oh, there's another song called Still Two Genders. <laughs> I guess the one we listened to was like the old one. Uh, Eternal Life is Real is a song. Um, oh god. Latest from a day ago, he's got a video of his two kids, Toby, James, and Corbin. In the video, it's a music video called Let the Boys Be Boys. And I don't know if you've seen, if I, if I showed this, but the thumbnail is just these two children holding like assault rifles. <laughs> 
<laughs> or like whatever these are i don't know submachine guns or something i'm not sure but they're uh they're they're having fun uh i guess uh yeah this is the type of person who like this is the type of guy who like i'm not wearing the mask i refuse it's tyranny and then two months later it's like yeah he died for some reason yeah he got n pneumonia or something i don't know he was coughing a lot and then he died i don't know but can't understand why we don't know why this is uh strong man uh is one of the songs grandpa narrow path gang uh mafo we're gonna do one more we're gonna do one more i want to go okay we're gonna go by popular again um maga boys maga challenge won't cave there's a song called less white man he's got some like white inferiority shit going on that i i don't i don't know uh the song toxic good versus evil uh the song red pill i really wanted to hear the song pedo peter which is like the first one that came up when i looked him up on google um he's got a song called all lives matter empire of lies uh monkey poxes rock bottom everybody balenciaga is a song he made okay 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 won't cave or there's a song here called bodies and it's him standing in a room and there's like a chalk outline of a dead guy and he's standing over it and i'm and i don't know what this is going to be about it was uploaded eight months ago so it could be about corona it could be about i don't know oh here's the song pedo peter oh it's about hunter biden okay all right well that's exciting but i'm gonna click on bodies i'm gonna click on let the bodies hit the floor here because because I want to know why I want to know what bodies he's referring to. Some somebody died, evidently. Oh, oh, bodies! Does oh, it? Uh, my pronouns are unvaccinated. Well, that's. I mean, it's like three. There's there's the three pronouns. That's not. That's like. That's like five. That doesn't make sense. That's not even the way that works. That that doesn't even really function as a joke. You sell that as like merch. He's got his like signature under that. That's embarrassing. You're really proud of that. I mean, you just space it up into three different pronouns. You, you know, you could probably make this work at least as a as a, you you could at least make the joke function. You wouldn't be able to make it funny, but you could make it function. But you chose to make it bad, so that's funny. I'm glad you put your name on that. Yeah, it should have been un unvaxxed or something, I guess. Yeah, it could have been that. Yeah, I think it's merch. Let the bodies hit the tss tss. They want it dropping bodies. Every time I turn the TV on, they dropping bodies. What the fuck? What did you just put that in your fucking. What the hell, dude? Why did you put that in your video? Come on, man. Yeah, I can't believe all these people are dropping. It's almost like there's like sicknesses in the world and stuff. And we try to tell you about these bodies. We try to tell you about these bodies. But you didn't want to listen about these bodies. So, so is this the thing? Is this the fucking conspiracy thing about the people randomly dying? We saw a video about this recently. Some guy was talking about how people people are mysteriously dying all over the world or something and just dying of cardiac arrest or, or something uh is this what he's talking about because i mean i haven't even heard a lot of these people talking about this sort of thing this is news to me as of recently that apparently this is a th if that's what this is about that seems to be what this is i mean just what is the conspiracy? Is is the oh it must be the vaccine? The vaccine is causing everybody to like their brains to explode or something. People are having strokes and stuff. Now you might be dropping like a body. body. This is what they want to take a look at all. I know they try to ban me after this song. Y'all reminded me of Rock and May. Call y'all Kim Jong with all the propaganda. Take a story, get you. Somebody in chat is uh, is like you're ex afraid to expose yourself to hard truths. 
Well, no, I mean, I just wasn't aware that there was a thing going on with that. I'm trying to piece together what the hard truth is here, Doug. Uh, but, I mean, I will say, I mean, it, it kind of just seems like, you know, there's probably w was already people having fucking strokes and shit. I, I don't know, people might be on drugs. Like, who... I, that The lady that he showed on the news there... The... the well, I can't find her now, but the one lady... Yeah, this lady who was having a fucking crisis... She 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 seemed like she was just on something. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's a thing where now people are looking for it and they're like, oh, see, yeah, that guy had a thing go on. So definitely that confirms my beliefs in whatever is happening, which I mean, yeah, maybe something's happening, but that doesn't necessarily confirm it. This is what they want to take a look at all. I know they try to bear me up. Why would they want that? I mean, first of all, they. You know what? It's always like George Soros or something, but they. Um, I'm sure the Jews are involved, probably. <laughs> they always seem to be somehow, but they uh, are, are, are. They they wanted this. I don't know what they stand to profit by rubbing out the guy who was doing the fucking sports cast with that other guy, the dude who was stroking out next to his fucking sports news partner or whatever. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if that guy's like an, um, an enemy of the Illuminati or something. I, I'm just confused about what this co this conspiracy even is. Like, are these people targets? Are these just random deaths? For what purpose? It's like the flat earth thing. Why? Why would they lie about the shape of the earth, though? Just to fuck with you? Why are they killing random people with the coronavirus? Just to fuck with people? That is song, y'all reminded me of Rockin' Man, call y'all Kim Jong with all the propaganda, take a story, get your twist on the people saying this safe and effective, man, y'all been wrong, what's the body count, buckle up, gon' be a Rocky Mount, while people dropping, y'all just talking in the coffee lounge. Simple, money and control. Money and control, okay, but like... But you like, you understand how incredibly vague and stupid that sounds? Why are people randomly dying? Oh, well, because money and control. Okay, yeah, fit those pieces together. And the 40 miles of pieces that you need to fit together between them to make that work. Um, money and control by having random people die? Or again, maybe they're targets. The only way I accept this is if this is like a deus ex conspiracy where they're targeted bad people that are being rubbed out with the vaccine. I mean... I, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Uh, I guess money and control for fucking Pfizer, you know? Uh, I, and they got their- they got the vaccine out there. I suppose. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, if at the end of the day the conspiracy is that the- that the- that the big me the big pharma p pushed a- 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 a vaccine that wasn't ready and was ready to kill and it's like killing people because they didn't test it properly and it was all for money and blah 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 well you know i'm not gonna say that i hate to sound like hassan over here but but don't you recognize how ultimately that comes back to capitalism as the problem i don't know i see people mocking tell it you upon that soggy ground man look who talking man you rock play disco elysium today ladies and gentlemen on steam for 20 dollars or something with the nazis now first they take the guns then make you comply with the mandates you gonna rip it but they didn't take the gun what do you mean for okay well first they take the guns they were not successful at doing that evidently but then they made, the, and then they were somewhat successful with making people follow the mandates. So I guess they just, I guess they just r r white, cr cross the first one off the list, I guess. Or maybe it's the list is in no order. He does say first they take the guns and then, so that it implies that they should have taken the guns by now. But that's not going to happen and it's never going to happen. So, so I don't know. That's that's not even a, that's just not a very good line. From my dead hands ain't no band-aid. Ain't dying from your juice. I didn't take it. Ain't in a trans state. You can't have this body. Pure blood. That's my campaign. Body. <laughs> <laughs> we just see these people passing out. You know, you know, I mean, that's funny. It's that's funny. Except for that lady that you randomly showed, like, dying, falling in a train. Um, which seems like somebody in chat was like, can that be reported? I, maybe, I don't know if that's on YouTube or what that is. That was weird. I'm not going to go back and look. 
Um, but, uh, yeah, people are, people are fucking passing out. Uh, I, you know, there's a lot of factors that could be responsible for that, though. They could have coronavirus, for one thing. I mean, shit, there's a lot of things. People could just be fucking, again, people could just be really high. You're talking about, like, politicians and people on the news and shit. Like, yeah, I believe that there's, like, cocaine involved. Maybe somebody's having a fucking overdose. Oh my goodness! What does it mean, Chicago ain't got nothing on these bodies? What's Chicago to this- to this guy? Is there- was there a thing that happened in Chicago? Because, I mean, we started the stream with 25 or 6 to 4, you know, so there's that. I mean, that's valid. But, um, I don't know what Chicago is to, to this fella. Uh, because... It was, was it like a riot there? Was that like one of the BLM cities? Like, uh, Baltimore or whatever? I, I don't know. Bodies. We try to tell you about these bodies. Because of, because of the murders? Because, like, Chicago's got a lot of murders? Okay, so it's just a really dumb line. Oh, okay, I thought it was something to factor into, like, politics or, like, some kind of clever, like, yeah, fuck you, liberal. No, it's just, like, what place has a lot- Where do murders happen? Where do bodies, um, morgue don't have thing on body- No, um- Baltimore don't have nothing. No, that doesn't work. Um, Chicago ain't got nothing on. Yo, bars, bars. I gotta make a song out of this. But you didn't wanna listen about these bodies. And now you might be dropping like a body. Cause this is what they wanted. No, you might be dropping like a body. <laughs> dropping like a body. I just. Wow, he's really not very good at the rap thing, is he? Um Take a look at all the bodies. One, two, three, four. Bodies dropping on the floor. I say we are Good God, just start your fucking verse with my name is Tyson and I'm here to say we'll take up arms, declare another war. Donald Trump is compromised. Man, forget the other four. I don't follow men no more. Now well, Donald Trump is compromised, so he's a bad guy now. We don't like Trump anymore. We have to go over this again. Like a body, cause this is what they want to take a look at. Okay, so, for, again, I don't- I just don't understand, like, I, it's so close to Flat Earth Conspiracy, which we might be looking at a Flat Earth website today, by the way. I've been informed of a website that might be fun, but, um, it's so close to the Flat Earth thing that, uh, it's- it's just like, why did they want this? What, first of all, who's they? You know, figure out, like, a specific group of people specifically who wanted this. And why they wanted this. I mean, it, would, did they want the bodies? The way this is fr framing this situation is that they want the dead people. It's it, the, the way he's describing this, it's not that they wanted the money or the power like the chat member said. It, it, it's that they wanted th these people to die and drop like a body. Um, or, or, or nebulously not even die. I mean, like, that's the other thing. Like, we're talking, are we talking about people just passing out and having like like a fucking heat stroke and like a a, a, a or a regular stroke or are we talking about people like dying i i don't i'm really not sure exactly but I, what i do know is that this vent looks like it's entirely ready to be snuck through and can get you 150 xp bonus Floor. i say we assemble take up arms declare another war donald trump is compromised need to assemble take up arms declare another war i mean like, that's... That is concerning, you know? When you hear that, because, I mean... Yeah, you know, when the people who are hoarding a bunch of fucking guns decide that they want to take up arms and declare another war. Uh, I mean, that's basically what's happening with Romana. Uh, shit, we went from Romana's crazy co compound to this, and now I'm right back to that again, where it's like, yeah... I guess you're just gonna declare someone your your leader for your local t faction or whatever, and you're gonna form a fucking posse, and you're just gonna go round up like the the local leaders and fight the cops. There's gonna be like gang warfare in the streets with like militias. 
This is what this guy wants, apparently. He wants people to go join a fucking militia in, like, Montana. And fucking ar arm themselves. Oh, man. That just sounds so lovely. Uh, that's a great future for your children to have. He really wants that for his kids. Man, forget the other four. I don't follow men no more. Now sit back and watch me roar. All of a sudden, bodies dropping by the dozen. Now you buzzing. Let me guess. Now you gon' blame it on the Russians. See your cousin drop. She was healthy. She didn't have the muffin top. They got you to take the poke. No, your cousin dropped. She was healthy. She didn't have... So wait, it's the Russians' fault? No, it's not. We're going to blame it on the Russians. So it's not the Russians' fault. Right, because... Vladimir Putin is a wonderful man, you know. He is a really great man. And he's a, he's a diplomat. And Vladimir Putin, he is actually a patriot who just wants what's best for his country, man. Um, so yeah, no, I guess Russia wouldn't really be involved in that, actually. Um, um, but, uh, but, but, so, so the cousin, the cousin got in infected. Did they die of being woke? Is that what it is? Because the other guy that we heard talk about this, his thing was, um, his thing was, uh, the other guy that they talked about this was uh, that talked about this was was talking about the series was called Woke to Death, and it was a series about um, like people that randomly are dying, I guess, of like cardiac arrest or whatever random reasons. And it was around this long ago. This was eight months ago. It was about eight months ago that this video came out. He was called Woke to Death. And, uh, I think it was that long. I don't know. It's been going for a little while, though. He's got a whole series of them. And that, I think, is related to this sort of conspiracy. But that didn't even raise the question that it would have been about COVID. That was more people are mysteriously dying. I think maybe we came to the conclusion that it was that. But, like, people are dying of... We realized that it was... It, it's it seemed like it was actually covid that was killing people and i uh, and and he was like unaware and he was like yeah they're just dying mysteriously we don't know why uh but i don't know this is like a this is i don't know i would have to look more into this mysterious vanishing people conspiracy of just people that are dying which i guess is I don't know, it appears to be happening. I mean, there's at least news footage of it. I don't know if we can just deny all of the footage that he is showing. I don't want to go so far as to say that he's just, like, faked a bunch of footage or something. I'm sure that's not true, but, you know, there, uh, he, it's, uh, he, he's, you know, showing footage. I don't know that that all necessarily corroborates what he's saying. It could all just be unrelated footage of people passing out, uh, and, 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 I, again, I'm really not getting the gist of what the fucking point is of what this conspiracy is from this song. But I think we're going to call it here. Because I know that listening to the rest of the song is not really going to clear it up anymore. And um, it's also big shout outs to Tyson James for whatever you have to say about his politics. Agree, disagree, you know, that's fine. The actual music is just awful. I mean, the 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 the, the instrumentals are really, really generic, but then... The actual rap is is really simple and also, you know, generic is another word I'd use. It's very simplistic, not very interesting, no real interesting flow or any kind of mix-ups to the rhythm or anything. I mean, again, he has so many songs about, I'm a white rapper and that's okay, I sleep all night and I fuck all day. Uh, and the reason why people have an issue with white rappers is because of people like this, who are just like, Yeah, I'm a rap about how hard it is to be a white, then I'm gonna fucking smoke and drink and fuck all night. Yeah, I'm rapping, and that's alright. Uh, fuck you, Obama. You know, like, any, any, any time like that, and it's, and, and it's, it's, it's that mixed with, like, the 80s, you know, my name is whatever, and I'm here to say... Uh, which he did a little of the one, two, three, four bodies dropping on. It's like, man, it's not the '90s, and that's not even cute. That's not even like a cute throwback thing. Don't do that. Come on now. If Method Man did that now, it would be considered. It would be considered dated. Come on now. Um, let's see now. Um. Um. Uh, two bucks from King Cobra JFS's abused liver. You should see the Boglim's fe Reese's Feces drink. Oh, that sounds good. All right. Reese's 
feces. Well, we've got... <laughs> we got a fecal funny over here. Okay, you know, something tells me that's not what we're looking for here. Um, it's, uh, King Cobra. Um, what do I look up? What is it? Reese's Fe Re Reese's Feces? Hang on. King Cobra JFS. Oh no. Reese's Pieces cheese cheeseburger. There's a cheeseburger? Reese's Pieces cheeseburger? Oh, okay. I see what you're talking about. I got it. I found it. It's the new Boglim Chronicles. It's disgusting new mead batch with King Cobra JFS. Um, <clears throat> sure. He's got... <laughs> So this is the thumbnail, and then when you hover over when you hover over it, you can see why it's brown and has chunks because yeah, there does appear to be Reese involved. This is a Reese's feces uh, situation. Oh boy, our man is making high quality Jenkum straight from the the tap. So let's just get into it. Ow, my ears! Ow! That's loud, sir! You know, why don't they sell milk in bags like that? I feel like that would be really efficient. I mean, I know it's made of paper, but like... Yeah, they could reinforce it. I feel like that would be a great way to sell milk. So what is that? That's flour? That's sugar. That's sugar. Okay. He's taking like a huge cup or two of sugar, like multiple... I mean, he be pouring. He do be pouring. I'm gonna start off with two cups of sugar. Wild. Wild stuff. Good job. Good job. Pick it up. Good. Yeah. Grab it. You spoke a little bit. That's all right. Just a little bit. Still a full cup. Oh, my God. Okay, you have a bunch of sugar. Why do you need extra sugar in whatever you're making? You got two bananas. Bananas. All right. Okay. I guess... That could work. Why is he putting it in this device? He's got like a fucking like ocean spray bottle or or, or fruité or whatever. One of those like Tetra Pak juice aisle drink bottles, like a V8 bottle. Why does he just have chunks of banana? You can't like mix this. You can't. Bl you don't. He doesn't. He have a blender. Oh God. Sugar in water with banana. And there's gonna be Local chocolate honey. peanut butter. Oh, and honey, okay. The bananas will rot. Local honey, too. Only the best. Oh, that's a lot of it. That's a lot of it! That's a lot of it! That's so much honey, though! That's so much honey, though! Stop pouring the honey! Did he pour the whole thing of honey? A little bit of cold water to swoosh around the to get the excess out. Uh huh. So literally the whole bottle of honey that he opened in front of us, 
He opened that in front of us with the seal on it and everything, and now he is swishing water in it to get the leftovers out. Because not only is the amount of honey that he poured in not already enough, he needs more. He needs more. Honey water. Every batch is a little more concerning. Is this going to be booze? I guess this is going to be booze eventually. There's no booze in here yet. It's just honey, banana, sugar, and water. There's so much... Okay. There is so much honey and it's so thick and viscous that whatever is beneath the honey is not mixing with what's above the honey. So there's the honey water with a froth. And then there's the honey main part and then there's like the banana sugar water area down here and you can see when he starts f mixing it you can see how the top water is not at all moving the, the honey he is truly mastered the bartender mixed drink where the honey is just on a completely different viscosity layer from the from the the top layer and the bottom and he, well that's that's just marvelous Oh yeah, just keep shaking it. That'll do it. I guess it eventually did, kind of. No, he just ran out of strength for a minute. You know, who needs a blender, really? This is all you need. The banana could be whole. It's fine. It's fine. So I think he... But he is trying to make this into booze, and he's just putting a full banana in there. Which, yeah, that's going to rot. I don't know if he's going to drain that out or something. Uh, but that's disgusting. Um, I mean, e even before he add the peanut butter cups or whatever the fuck he's adding to this thing, but, but he's got banana in there, and, you know, he's not blending it or turning it into any kind of puree or anything. So it's just gonna be like a horrible desiccated banana in there eventually. Oh god. If this is gonna be booze anyway, I mean, it might not even be booze. He might be making butter beer. Oh, he's still going. Now, who needs dedicated ASMR channels when this can strike your fancy? Gonna add some Reese's peanut butter chocolate syrup. Reese's, everybody. Yeah. See, I was saying Reese's earlier because he's rubbed off on me. People like him that say it as Reese's as if there's a fucking extra E in there or like an I. Or like a Y or something. No, it's Reese's. It's like Reese Witherspoon. It's like R Reese whatever. It's a name. People say Reese's. And I want to hang myself, really. Uh, uh, but he's one of them. Says, and now I'm becoming one of them. So, there you go. Did he? He just has the, the little metal thing in his mouth and he's sucking on it. For some reason. Pour out the chocolate syrup. Uh, does it need to be a whole thing? Does it need to be an entire bottle of it? Like, this is the same thing that I get on uh, Iron Wrath for because I know that he is not a particularly high wealth individual, you know? Uh, him, uh, uh, King Cobra, or, or Iron Wrath, neither of them are particularly high wrath uh, high high wrath high wealth individuals um uh and, and and i think both of them are you know i know i know iron wrath goes to food banks and stuff and so as somebody who's been in that position myself it's really frustrating to watch these people just throw five bags of cheese at a single dish or dump an entire thing that would last me like six months this reese like ice cream topping thing that you would add a tiny bit of to some things every now and then. He's just dumping all of it into a thing at once. And it's like, man, I really don't have any sympathy for you at this point when I'm seeing the way, how wasteful you are with this shit. And you're buying this shit and you're just buying it explicitly to be thrown away in this like cockamamie, a cockamamie concoction that just, 
that that it has no purpose to exist. You also you like how he's not saying anything in this video? How quiet he is? Like he knows how bad this is. He doesn't even have anything to say. He can't even sell it to us. There's no enthusiasm here. He's just like going through the fucking motions. He's just making this happen. His body is controlling this independently of his brain. He's sleepwalking right now through this. He he's gonna wake up and have no concept that this even happened. Couldn't get the whole bottle in there, but that's enough. What we need it for. I guess he's talking a little. Man. Man. It's just, it's such a shame. Again, just the wastefulness. It hurts to watch him put these, these delicious Reese cups that would be so nice to eat and great to taste and wonderful to my delectable delight. And, and he's throwing them into this fucking thing. F for what purpose? I really don't know. I mean, I really don't know I, what that's going to add. There's already so much chocolate and sweetness in there. He added extra sugar to this in addition to an entire two bottles of sweet shit. Uh, so why he needs more sweetness? He's not going to fucking taste it. Like at a certain point, you're not, you're just adding ingredients that aren't even going to, you're not even going to fucking notice them anymore. It's just going to be overpowered by sweetness. Oh God. Goodbye, Reese's. <laughs> God. Miserable. Reese's minis. Just drop them in there. Yeah. Just taking these Reese's minis. Drop Make them. Make peace with God. It's time to die. You've had your chance. Oh, fuck this guy. In there. Keep shaking. I mean, like, he's genuinely shaking this thing so hard that it's it's probably actually destroyed the banana and the fucking Reese cups. He's just displaced them molecularly. Well, also, the, uh, the fucking sugar is probably dissolving it like an acid, so that's, you know, also happening. I'm gonna add one more ingredient to it. I was gonna add, like, a spot of Jif creamy peanut butter to it, but with that Reese's peanut butter ice cream spread having peanut butter in it, we're not gonna need it. What do you have there? What is that? Plus, this is already, like... What the fuck is that? Why does that look like a jar of spices? Why, is this look... Why does this look like bacon bits? What is he adding to this? Practically almost full. When you're adding bacon to your meat to make it bacon flavor. Good <laughs> mead. You want the uh, bacon bits to do it because it's already cooked and cured so it won't get all funkified and rotten. Right. Good. 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 You want to dump this entire container of bacon bits into yeah, our... I just throw all the goddamn thing in, why not? Our wine. I mean, at this point, he hasn't even added any booze to this yet, so we have to wait. We have to re recognize, by the way, that whatever he's making here is going to be a horrible booze concoction, it seems like, too. I mean, I would assume. I would assume we're not meant to be drinking this shit sober. You gotta add, like, 15 types of booze to this. I am not. When am I making this? I'll tell you, I'm not making it for free. I'll try it, but. Jesus Christ. It genuinely hurts me. Like, I haven't done a cooking video thing in a little while, and I'm going to do one soon, but it genuinely hurts me to have to buy food 
for the sole purpose of it going completely to waste. <laughs> and I mean, technically, it's whatever. It's for the purpose of entertaining people and yada, yada, yada. But man, I really hate going to the store and being like, yeah, I gotta buy this. And that's gonna be winding up completely thrown in the garbage. And that's gonna wind up getting fucking blended into misery with every other paste that I have. And, uh, it's really an unfortunate scene. Bacon's clogging up the funnel. Hold up one second. When the when the when the bacon clogs the when the when the bacon with the when the the the, clog the funnel with the bacon the clogs the when the bacon clogs the funnel. There should be enough sugar for our juice and our yeast to ferment. Yeast? There's yeast. What do you mean yeast? Ferment? For. <laughs> That's fine. Ferment? Ferment? What do you mean yeast? Where's the ye What did you add yeast? That's not- that's happening? There's- Are you turning this into booze? You're not adding booze to this. You're making this into booze. This is alchemy, I see. You're a madman! Bacon's clogging up the funnel. Hold up one second. Well, I see that he says mead. He's also said it's wine. I'm not taking his word for it. Somebody's like, that's mead, fella. Well, I don't know. Does this look like mead to you? For our juice and our yeast to ferment. Got to clear the whole damn container. And just for shits and giggles, we'll add a little bit of Jif Creamy. I thought you said you weren't adding the Jif! Don't add the Jif! Just a little splash of that. Oh, just a little. He's just adding a little. He's just adding a giant, giant spoonful that won't even fit in the jar! Just a little bit in there for flavor. Just for flavor. The juice we're gonna be making it from is this. Uh, Mucho mango. He's making a peanut butter. I mean, really. I've said before that this man is a is like a bold innovative engineer when it comes to bad food because i've just never seen combinations like this he's making mango chocolate peanut butter bacon sugar honey booze fermented with yeast and all that and i i just i just i don't know man i i just that's the end of it i i just you ever see someone's booze and you just and, 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 and it's a free country, and they're allowed to make their booze, but but you see it, and you're just... <sighs> oh. ten, ten gift memberships from Postman. Thank you very much, Post, Postman. Thank you very much. I think that was ten. If I missed one, let me know. The juice we're going to be making it from is this... Mucho mango. Mango juice. This is unbelievable. This is where we're gonna acquire. I mean, you could have just—he could have just left it at what was already in there. Like even with the bacon, I don't know. Fine, it's like a salty counterbalance to the rest of it. Maybe the mango. It's not even necessary. It was already a liquid. You didn't need more. You didn't need more. But you made mango. You could have put milk in there. You could have put anything but mango in there. Why did you put mango in there? A lot of shaking because of how thick all the ingredients are. What? It says... M me making it from is this Mo yeah so Mucho man not only is it mango mongo mango it's got like no. it's got like wait wait hang on the juice we're gonna be making it from is this mucho mango bro it says mongo yeah no somebody somebody but people in chat were like i love how illiterate he is bro it says mongo i'm like wait 
Did I get something wrong? No, he did. He's completely mistaken the name of this, but it's Mongo Mango, and it's got other fruit in it, too. And by that, what that means, all these fucking- I have to go on a mini rant. I hate all of these little juices that they sell, these, like, juices on the fucking cereal aisle or whatever. These fucking juices. Because they're everyone that's like, oh, it's an orange blend. And it's like, no, it's pear and apple. And almost all of them are pear and apple. And I don't want any of that fucking pear apple shit in my goddamn fruit juices when I buy like an orange juice mango fucking blend. And like the main ingredient is pear and apple juice. And I can't fucking understand why. And it's like, they don't sell it that way. They sell it as like tropical whatever. And then the main thing is apples and pears. And I'm like, you know, because, because like they wouldn't sell any if they told people it was fucking pear juice, right? Like, even if you like pears, that's just not a hot selling fruit, necessarily. So they're like, they, they gotta lie. I guess it's cheaper. So they like, they, they put a mango on the cover of the thing and then you buy it and you drink it and it's fucking pear juice. And it's like, nobody wanted the pear juice. I guess the mango costs more. I don't know. But he's got the mango juice here and presumably it's gonna be like 90% fucking pear and apple juice with a hint of mango. So, you know. Mango. Settle down? Settle down? You don't know what's at stake, chat member! This is where we're gonna acquire a lot of shaking because of how thick all the ingredients are. Listen, if you want pear juice, that's fine. I'm not denying you that right. I just want it to be clearly delineated as pear juice. And I want the pear juice and the regular juice to be kept separate and have separate schools. That's all I'm asking. Thank God for granting me this moment of clarity. He's, he's suddenly realizing, like, oh, what have I done with my life? What am I making? This zoom in. Huh. Yeah, this really looks like a bottle full of shit! God. I mean, I know the meme doing his best every day. Do your best, do your best, do it every day. I know the meme is imagine the smell. But I mean, re re realistically, imagining the smell of chocolate, peanut butter, bacon honey and mango and fucking pear juice all together is really a hard to hard to hard to piece together really that is a hard uh fucking pill to swallow there um that's a lot of it's a real combination of flavors you really just you really just went to the salad to, to, to the to the to the to the you went to like the ice cream sundae bar and you told them to run it through the garden and just get a little bit of every single topping and every type of ice cream and all of the sauces and all of the jimmies and everything that you could possibly put on there. And that's basically what he made here in beverage form. Yeah, and the banana. Yeah, and there's banana. Right. Right, there's bananas. Yes. I have to drink some of this down and make some room for more juice. He took it to the salad bar. Yeah, he... <laughs> I mean, I wasn't gonna go there, but there's a good joke right there, yeah. 180 days of... What the fuck is this? Was it 180 days? He's drinking it, and he has no taste buds, this man. He just has no taste buds. I mean, but, like, he's... Isn't he trying to ferment it or something? I thought he wanted it to ferment. I thought he wanted to turn this into mead or booze or something. Does that happen instantly the moment these ingredients combine like a video game? Or do you have to let it sit for a while? Because I don't think he's moved. It's not like this is a different stream or anything. This is just the same stream. Now he's just drinking it. So there's just yeast in there. What the fuck? So, so... Yeah, he always drinks it early. He ate it, basically, yeah. 
It needs to ferment. Oh, he's making room for more juice? That mu that would be it. Yeah, I guess that must be it. Uh, he wants more- is that what it actually- wait, is that actually what it is? He wants more juice in there? That's- oh my god. This is like- you could dump it out! This is like you're fucking siphoning gas from a car! You know that Cobra's a swallower, not a spitter, when he siphons gas from a car. Amongst other things, I'm sure. Uh, bye bye teeth, this will do it. Well, yeah, you've got, like, added sugar over and above. Oh, yeah, and we forgot the, I mean, I say chocolate peanut butter, but unless we forget that one of the ingredients here is an entire bottle of shit that you pour a little bit of on top of ice cream when you have it. Like, the, the Reese's chocolate peanut butter ice cream topping shit. A whole bottle of that, plus honey. Yeah, your teeth are gone, dude. Damn. I mean, his whole person has to be hurting eating that, drinking this. <laughs> oh, that's a good comment. Oh, that's a really good comment. Somebody put on their fucking. Oh, somebody put on their good comment pants with that one, because that's a good one. Allegedly. Wow, I guess he actually did pro he probably said that he needs to make room for more juice. And I was too enthralled by what was happening to pay attention. That tends to happen to me. But I am still just in awe that that was actually his reasoning was just like, yeah, I gotta make more room for more fucking mango juice. Let me just drink this unfermented yeast beverage. Uh, oh, oh goodness. I mean, at this point, turn it into kombucha. Why not? It's literally just doo doo caca. Yeah. They don't look very appetizing, but there you go. Poop wine fermenting nicely, tubes. That should be enough room for that. Oh my god. Put an airlock hole in the middle right there on that little dimple in the middle of the lid. What? Oh, there's a hole. You're making a, a hole. I'll rinse that lid off real quick. Why are you making it? It's for air, so it doesn't, like, explode, I guess. The pressure, probably. And I dropped the lid down. Doesn't that ruin it? Like, isn't it supposed to ferment without... I don't know. It's probably fine. Down the fucking drain. I dropped the fucking lid down the drain. Luckily, I have a fucking spare on that goddamn lid bottle. Good, jo good job, Cobra. It's not even worth playing the Curb Your Enthusiasm theme. Good, Good job. So he puts a hole in I'm gonna the I'm going to try to fish it out. So we're just going to use the lid from the other bottle. Or uh, wine making yeast. Wine yeast. Oh, let this fucking... Wine yeast. So, like, does that involve grapes? Or is that just... Because I don't think so. I, I would assume not. It's something you add to the grapes. So I guess you could hypothetically call this a wine. I mean, I, I suppose... Uh, I mean, I didn't know, I didn't realize you could just buy wine yeast and then just make anything with it into wine. I, I, I guess so. I mean, I, I could just get chocolate milk and turn it into fucking wine, apparently. I, like, okay. Um, but he's adding this now. So, so wait, he didn't add the yeast yet. Okay, I guess the yeast is not already in there. Alright. He, he did say there was yeast, but we didn't see him add it yet. So yeah, he's adding it now. So it was still disgusting, but I guess it's actually probably less disgusting than it's going to be. So, you know, I, I guess there's, that's valid that he, it's fine that he was drinking some of it. That's fine. For a week, and then we're going to strain it, just like we did last time. Strain it. Carefully. Pour that in there. Don't strain yourself. Put the lid on. Oh, dear. You don't have enough room to even Stir shake it the around. Thing. Shake it properly. Shake it like a man again. What are you Put doing? The balloon on. The balloon. There we are. Hold that balloon in place. Right, right. The balloon. Right. Okay. He's got a whole process here. Isn't this actually how you make Jenkin though? 
Like, this is legitimately very close to Jenkum, I believe. I think this is quite close to Jenkum, what he's making here. Is that... is that it? No, wait, we need to see the end result of it. We need to see the... the fermented process once it's done. Ah. Oh. Well, you know, thanks to Boglim Chronicles for chronicling that excitement. Um, uh, um, let me see. Uh, the interactive Mario fanfic was one Griff suggested. I think, well, I, I'll probably do that another time also because I do want to do another, like, fanfic-themed uh, stream at some point. We, we did Wattpad recently, and I had a really good time finding the multitudinal, uh, unrelated uh, series on Wattpad that seemed to be, like, basically fucking Origami Kingdom shit, but in written form. It was like Toy Story. It was like Pooh's Adventures, but as fanfic. And it was like Toy Story, but fucking Andy was a girl or whatever. And we had we had fun with that. Uh, we'll probably do another uh, fanfic related thing again. Maybe do some uh, deviant art alongside it. And, and yeah, the, the interactive Mario fanfic. Remind me of it then, uh, if I don't bring it up myself, because I definitely want to look at that. Um, uh, Rapid Relief became a member. Thank you very much, Rapid Relief. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe he became a member. Oh. Those days when he wasn't a member are, are long behind us. Rapid relief, thank you. Not just cringe white rap. Not just qu cringe white conservative rap. Oh no, baby. It's cr cringe white conservative Christian rap. Yeah, I mean, well, I don't know why people say white rappers are, are, are straight, are like cringe though. I don't know why there's a stigma. I mean, we really need to end the hate, frankly. Um. I mean, it's true. The sad thing is, like, the point that he was trying to make with that white boy song. White boy! Which isn't even the good white boy, man. It's embarrassing that he had he made the lesser white boy. And they're about the same thing, more or less. Um, but the white boy song, I mean, like, yeah, people shouldn't have a stigma against people rapping just because they're white. Not necessarily. But he is the exact reason why that stigma exists. So, you know, that's the catch-22, I guess. It's, it's a little sad. Um, five bucks from Randy. I think Two Genders is a pretty cool guy. It disses sinners and doesn't afraid of anything. <laughs> he sure doesn't, you know. Uh, that's why we call him Captain King. Uh, that's a good meme, good meme. Five bucks from Zen. This man chose to go with the Aladdin from the Dictator beard style. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, he, he, he definitely looks like he wants to call some people haram. Two bucks from, uh, Autistic Wolf. This rap makes me want to listen to I Don't Care! Uh, oh, what, the, uh, the JPEG Mafia song about, uh, about, uh, the, the JPEG Mafia song, uh, my thoughts on the, on Neo Gaff dying, where he just goes, I don't care! I don't care! For, like, a minute and a half. It's, it's a good song. It's, I don't know if that's the one you mean. Uh, two bucks from Hunter Moore. It sucks when people bring when people when parents bring kids into politics. Well, you know anything they bring the kids into, it's always just a little bit sad when it's like, you know, somebody who's, uh, you know, I don't know. You just even I don't know. Maybe I'm just cynical now, but I look at like parents bringing their kids to ball games even a little bit as like. Yeah, get them into buying Yankees merch for the rest of their lives. Get them to be a good little purchaser of Yankees products. Uh, and I mean, I guess it's fine to some extent, but man, the people who it's like, why do you like your team? Because you're from there and your parents told you you like that team. So you do, basically. It's uh, it's like... It's, 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 it's a little of that same thing, you know, just let your, if your kid wants to get into sports and they like sports on their own, then that's cool. But, you know, the, 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 I mean, I don't know. A parent bringing a kid to a game is not inherently making them, you know, swaying them one way or the other. But, you know, it does, it does bring them to that environment where everybody is wearing the, the colors and everything and, like, as a little kid, I remember going to a hockey game, and I was like, Which colors are the good guys, Dad? And my dad was like, It's the blue. It's the blue people. It's the blue people. And I was like, Oh, okay. Uh, and, and so I looked around, and I'm like, I, And I legitimately, as a, like a nine-year-old or whatever, I was looking around the arena, just like, I see all the red people. They're all the enemies. And and that's, like, actually, like, you, you just take what I said and turn that into politics, and bing, bang, boom. <laughs> like, there you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh... 
uh, two, uh, two months sticky wiki was a member uh, thank you for the two months I appreciate it uh, next time you do a cursed cooking stream you are challenged to do it all on your couch just like Cobra no balls you won't I don't really have a couch at the moment I have some chairs and stuff but I don't really have like a a proper couch sort of thing he has like a chair I could probably get like a some some sort of chair that I could do it in uh, but no I really wouldn't because that's not the way that the, it, the angle wouldn't work the way I have it because I would have to be in the kitchen I mean no balls I will I won't I don't think I could I, ju I don't think I could actually oh maybe I yeah hypothetically I could if I set up the chair in the exact right position but it would be very difficult to do and I would have to be facing away from the computer when I do the stream so I don't think that's gonna happen no. Um, five bucks from Victor Rodriguez Martinez. Someone in one of the Boglim Chronicles videos mentioned he finds a reason to have a drink of sort, whether it be someone's death or a random holiday. Oh, it's that. That's always sad. I mean, at least just drink for you. Like, I mean, if I, if I, if I decide to drink, it's like, yeah, I feel like drinking tonight. Whatever. And I mean, I shouldn't sometimes. I drink too hard sometimes when I do. I don't drink that often anymore, but like, you know, uh, uh, it's at least I, at least it's still, it's under my, it's, it's my responsibility. It's not that kind of like cope of, oh, it's five o'clock somewhere. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. Nothing's wrong with me. I don't have a problem. Uh, me, I know I have a problem. <laughs> like, that's a little better at least, you know, awareness is, it's a step, of, it's a step of the way there. Uh, two bucks from Delcos. Uh, and we got a link here. 18 minutes in, he meets the bull. I, I don't, I don't really know what that means. There's also 10 gift memberships from Lachlan Banks. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think that was 10. If I'm, if I owe you to, an, an additional air horn, you let me know. But I appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> thank you. I hope, uh, I hope people are happy with their memberships. Be, be sure to post a smuggo in chat if you got one. Or a, or a nug champ or whatever whatever suits your fancy truly um, let me see here let me find the uh, find the thing here um, let's see seven MV blah 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 okay I'll take this and I will use this and I will put this in here and it will take me to the date of Mormons part two and this is 26 minutes not a great like ratio part two of a three-part video made possible by Justin Burkhardt on Twitter of a date to see the Book of Mormon in Salt Lake City between myself and Tracy oh Oh dear, in this date we discover that Tracy has a date immediately following this date, which was news to me. Do we meet the mystery man? Did Tracy have fun? What's next? Oh no! <laughs> oh dear! Well, uh, well, I hope Tracy had a good time. Um, <laughs> wait, no, is this Skippy the Virgin? Oh my god, it is! It's Skippy! I am Skippy! It's him! You're right, it's Skippy the Virgin! Did Skip? I mean, did Skippy ever lose his virginity? I haven't been following Skippy the Virgin. That was like fucking... Didn't H3H3 talk about him back in like 2016 or some shit? That was old. But yeah, I think this is Skippy. This is him. So, oh my god. The play literally just ended. Oh, excuse me. And, and, and does it have better... No, wow, it's in 360p and it's from 2019. How? I was gonna, I was inclined to say embarrassing, but you know how wonderful. That's just wonderful. So we're here to see the the Book of Mormon. Is he? I guess I suppose he's also Mormon then, because it's the date of Mormons. I would assume him and the other girl are Mormon, and they're dating and they're seeing this. Is the bull Mormon? 
This is part two. So, so this is part two. Oh, this is Tracy. Oh dear. Um, so this is part two of part of of a three part series. I mean, I don't know what happens in part one. He must be like getting ready for the date or something, and getting dressed or getting to the place or something. Talking about how he's nervous, I would assume something like that. Part three, I guess, is going to be him talking about how Tracy had a great date with her bull afterwards, and. They laughed about how, uh, how, how Skippy was. Play just ended. Huh? Initial thoughts, play just ended. What'd you think? Well, she's too good for him. <laughs> like, Sorry, I was focusing on what the camera- This is, uh, oh dear. This is a pity date, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. Cause you can immediately think- you can tell that this is like a composed, norm, fairly normal woman who has her life together. And here's this gentleman. <laughs> and I was like, depending on who the woman was, I could have been like, okay, you know, I mean, he's not like the, he's not like a, it's not like he's an undateable person or anything. It's not what I'm saying, but you know, I, I, if it was somebody, I don't know, depending on what she looked like, I could have been like, okay, you know, maybe I could see it. Sure. No, this woman is not, uh, <laughs> I think this woman just wanted to see the Book of Mormon, uh. What'd you think? Um, sorry, I was focusing on what the camera no was worries. focusing on. No worries. You? Um. Oh, so good. I was focusing on what the camera was focused on, so, so maybe the fact that there's a cameraman there on your date. I love that this is a video made possible by Justin Burkhart. Like, thank you, Justin, for filming us on a date together. Oh my god. Oh, dear god. Holy shit. So wow, good. I, I love her Her response, though, is great. Just like, yeah, I'm focusing on what the camera's focusing on. Like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on the fact, actually, uh, the fact that you're, like, looking at me and recording this all right now. I kind of, I fo I'm focusing, I'm kind of... My mind's preoccupied by that currently. Yeah. It seems like a giveaway then. Uh, there. I listened to. Oh, the Book of Mormon is the parody Mormon musical thing, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. That's the. Isn't that the Matt and Trey uh, thing? Okay. So they're not Mormons then. So this is. Uh. So I. I. I vaguely remember Skippy. I thought that there was a. A religious angle to him. If he is Mormon, I wouldn't be surprised, but I assume he wouldn't see something like this. No, yeah, I'm sure this lady just wanted to see the Book of Mormon. <laughs> I think that's probably what it was. Entire soundtrack uh, once, listened to my favorite songs a couple times on that. Uh, but I became your parents if you listen to them more than once, so. Specifically the song, I believe, was the song that I had listened like, to. It looks like he's holding the camera here. Look at this fucking gormless. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> Duh! But, uh, he, it looks like he's holding the camera, so why is there a third man on this date? It, apparently. I mean, I don't know if there is a third guy. I guess there might be. I can't really tell at this moment. It looks like he's holding this. But Justin Burkhart, what did he do? Made possible. Did, did, did he just edit it? I guess? But okay. Do the mouse. You said that I was into it way more than. Then I thought that then I thought that uh, someone who was Mormon would be. And why is that? Oh yeah, he is Mormon, right? Okay, so he is Mormon. They are watching the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon is not a Mormon musical. Okay, we're all on board here. Um, do you remember which way we came in? Uh, yeah, well, we took the elevator up, and then that's the... Do you remember the quickest possible exit from this location? Thanks, I got a, a hot date to be at in uh, 15 minutes, literally. Oh, yeah. Gotta get uh, out of down here. Down there that everyone's crowded. Oh, it's through. just crowded. Yeah. Yeah. You might have come out So, there's our fellow concert goers. 
Oh god, she's so fucking embarrassed. She's just trying to keep her head down as much as possible. Oh dear god, I feel so bad for her. And she's trying to hide her smile too. Oh, uh, by the way, you have to be going soon, is that right? Uh, oh my god, we're two minutes in. Delco says that at 18 minutes in, that's when the bull shows up. So we gotta fucking... This is a long video. This is about to get bad, chat. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Um. Oh, uh, by the way, you have to be going soon, is that right? You, your, like, your wrap-up time is... I was actually gonna, I was gonna make a proposition, um, well, I was gonna propose to you. Oh, okay. My oh my god, she's proposing to him, holy shit. Meeting, I do. Another meeting. Ooh. If you wanted I like this to, sound. if you wanted to, like, meet up, um, and have me for longer than, like, 20 minutes. I absolutely do. Then, more like an hour and a half, maybe. Like, I absolutely on. do. And then talk about it then after we've thought about it. Oh. oh god, yeah, she's scheduling a later play date when they can talk for exactly around an hour and a half. Like it's always good when a when a person you want to hang out with is like defining specific time. Like, yeah, I've got around exactly twenty minutes or so that I can I can spend with you. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, no more or less, no more than that, no more than that. But uh, no, 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 we could do. We can do something. We can talk for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Like, later, not tonight. Later. We can even like maybe have a little dialogue about what we want to talk about. Sure. Sure. Is she being paid? Like, is this a? This might be a fucking. Yeah. Oh God. Oh no. Oh no. This might be. Oh no. We have to go over what he says again. Exactly. You. By the way. First... Oh, uh, by the way, you have to be going soon, is that right? You, your, like, your wrap-up time. Yeah, wrap-up time, huh? Yeah, how about that? <laughs> oh, why would you, why oh why would you ever film this? Is he, is he, is his goal to be on a stream like this one? Because why, oh dear god, why would you ever film this yourself for other people to see? I mean, it's bad enough to do it, but to share it with the world, man. I mean, I mean, thank you, but, but why, for your own sake, would you do such a thing? I was actually gonna, I was gonna make a proposition, um, well, I was gonna propose to you. Oh, okay. My, uh, another meeting, I do. Another meeting. You gotta love that. I do. God, that's embarrassing. Oh my god. This is... There's so much more of this video. And it's only... It's 18 minutes in, in this 26 minute video, when he meets the bull. So, we have to presume that the rest of this video is like awkward tension between them. And then, we have like another 10 minutes almost after that for the the meeting the guy and whatever happens with him however long that takes and then unpacking that and winding down the video oh my god Ooh. if he wanted like to sound. if he wanted to like meet up um and have he's mormon andy. andy he's mormon andy longer than like 20 minutes i absolutely do then more like an hour and a half maybe like i absolutely on, do and then talk about it then after we've thought about it okay maybe, like we can have a little dialogue about what we want to talk about. Sure. Sure. Because I think there's a lot to process after something like this, and it's not like for me, I haven't heard all those songs. And I thought I you had like heard the. I thought you had heard the soundtrack as well. I had heard. I thought. Ah, uh, did I say that to him? Oh God. Um, it's over for Drew Carey. That's right. Five bucks from Michael Morbius. Skippy is a rabbit hole. He kissed a woman without her permission, and this same woman you're watching him interact with comes back numerous times. Oh. I see. I like the people who have, like, recurring characters on their channel. Like that food dip guy. His, 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 the passengers in his seat. It's just a, in his car. It's just a rotating, 
uh, fucking party cast member list of like today it's this guy. You remember him from this other video? Uh, I guess that's what's happening here. Yeah, this dude is apparently forty. Um, this dude is apparently forty. He is the Virgin Rocks guy, I believe. He was on a TV show talking about how being a virgin is great and how he loves being a virgin and all of that. Born in 1977? Uh, okay. Um, she went to the show. How didn't she hear all the songs? I don't know. Maybe she was on her phone, like, ignoring him or something. I, she probably, I mean, she's lying. She just doesn't want to, to talk to him anymore. Guys, we did it. I'd heard all of it, but I definitely had not. Okay. Like how of all the people. Oh. Here. In fact, uh, flip around. Flip around, we'll do it. Like. So she's like used to being on this guy's videos. He must. I mean, one way or another, I'm pretty sure she must be getting paid here. <clears throat> I mean, I can't. I. I don't know if I even believe that sex that sex is involved necessarily, but one way <clears throat> one way or another, I feel like money is exchanging hands. You're gonna have to come more towards me with this. There you go. Him having to get permission from her to put Oh dear god, this is hover hand the person. I wonder I wonder if uh, by showing these people if it's uh, can you get in trouble for showing people when, without their permission, when you're on? Oh, you're a real fucking renegade there, Skippy. You don't want to, it's careful, man. This is the type of dude who, who's, who's never even ripped the tag off of a mattress. I mean, jeez. Okay. You get, I mean, most of the, you can only certainly tell that it's them. Seth yeah. Rogaine. So... But there's the overview of the people that are... Oops. Uh, I mean, like, this face from her kind of says it all. You covered up a little by the, the bear and whatnot. But the face from her kind of says it all. Because, like, she's, she's here watching him vlog. Like, they're not on a date. I mean, can't he just, like, be with this person hypothetically and not? Does he think this makes him look good? Like, that's my question is, like, does he think this video is like, yeah, see, everybody, I can get a date, look! Because it's not, this is not a good look, but if that's what the idea is, I mean, I can, I guess uh, that must be it, because I can't imagine why he isn't just, like, on this date normally with this woman or with some other woman who wants to be with him and, you know, is... Like, what the fuck is the point of- this is so embarrassing for him and for her and for this a building that they're in? Like, Jesus the, Christ, the furniture that they're on needs to be thrown out. Of the people that are, oops, uh, this is like the reverse of, like, declaring a building a national monument or whatever. This is like- this is like- the building that they are in is now a fucking tenement. Are still, uh, coming down. Yeah. It like it's coming down. We'll be able to- yeah, I was just gonna see if you thought maybe we could. Yeah, so uh, like, um, I'm so not do sure a real do, wrap up. Thursday. Yeah, so do a real like, wrap up. Like an hour and a half, and like yeah. I'll text you because. Yeah. Or you can text me some ideas. Because I actually wrote some down. I think you. Would... I this, they have such chemistry where she's like trying to talk. They're both trying to talk over each other, and neither of and he's just like yeah 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 that's great yeah. And, like, he's also trying to address his fucking camera for some ridiculous reason. Oh, God. Oh, God. Be interesting. But she's, like, leaving, but we've got, like, another so much longer until the bull shows up. Get, uh, your perspective and my perspective, because, like, yeah, the short version, I... uh, current Mormon, former Mormon, our experiences, and so... Former Mormon, okay. The majority of... I, I thought, cause... Yeah. You're, you're, are you a Cartarian Mormon? Uh, actually, no. That's fine. I was, and by you that she means uh, I do wear the G's. Yep. I, I would yeah. still classify you in my mind as a potential Cartarian Mormon. You know?
Okay, so he's basically a he follows the Mormon beliefs. He, you know, that we don't really care about what fucking like. I guess if you're an actual card care, I go fine. You're not officially a Mormon, whatever. But like, I guess like whatever you 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 believe in it. That's all that really matters. They're actively pursuing that the goal, goal. Yeah, the goal is that. Yeah, and card yeah, carrying meaning the temple okay. recommend holding. Yeah. And I was once a card carrying Mormon. Yeah. I once wore G's. Until the age of twenty three. Oh no, um, I was. Oh man, of course she was married at 19. You gotta lock that down. <sighs> wow, this is great. Wow, cause when she said, wow, that's... Cause when she said that, I was like, oh, this poor girl was forced into a marriage at a young age. Like, who's getting married at 19? It must have been some horrible, awkward Mormon shit. And and his reaction to this is, Yeah! <laughs> you gotta lock that down. Don't let that get away from you. <laughs> Good lord. Good. Good Mormon lord. <laughs> what was your... Well, we lived only together for a year, and then we the year before the abortion trial, so technically I was 22 or 21. When you... Yeah. Are you, how do you know me from? Don't worry about it. No, through YouTube? Yep. No way, serious? Yep. Okay, what's your Boy, is this the bull? Oh no. Cold. Cold. Oh, that's the funny guy from before! Yo! I can't believe he came back and he was actually a character. This can't be the bull, can it? No, he, cause he's supposed to show up at 18 minutes. This is just a fun red herring distraction. Bolton, what's up? We're actually recording this. Uh, this is Tracy and we're recording this. <laughs> Gormless man lore. Well, he must've said something on his fucking channel about like, I'm gonna go see the Mormon, but whatever. And like people figured that out, I guess. That's, that must've been what happened. Oh God. Oh, this guy is a rabbit hole, isn't he? Uh, to put on YouTube. Nice. Can I put you on uh, YouTube? Go for it. Is that okay? That's good. All right. Thanks, Cole. <laughs> there he is, Cole, my man. Big dick, Cole. Did you really recognize me, or was that? <laughs> well, that's it. That's awesome. Yeah, that's it. You got other followers. <laughs> oh my God, they're laughing. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This poor man. Oh, this is not. Is it ethical, chat members? Is this? Is it ethical for us to watch the rest of this video? Yeah, the answer is yes. Let's watch it. They know you. The answer is who cares? Let's watch it. There's people back there. <laughs> They're like, look. We have to watch that again. That's awesome. You got other followers. <laughs> I mean, that's my nightmare. Like, that's, I think that's a lot of people's nightmares is like somebody just like, I don't know, talking to them and then going over to, to a bunch of people and like, they just start laughing at you and pointing <laughs> like, <laughs> that's horrible. <laughs> God, this guy's living in a nightmare world. Oh no. They know you. Yep. They know you. Those people back there. Hopefully Colton gave uh, the okay on behalf of all of them, but yeah. So. Who's that lady that's waving now? Fans. <laughs> the look she gives. So. Fans. Fans? Uh huh. Uh huh. A shiggity dig dog diggity dog. I don't think so. Have you gotten recognized at all uh, from being on the video? Like outside, kind of? I mean, people have been sending messages on my Instagram. Really? Positive or? Some guy called me from Australia the other day, and luckily this is like voicemail. He was saying, "Called you? Yeah. How did you I get your know. number? Because on Instagram, I didn't know it was on my profile. I went in. I mean, I guess they are friendly to some extent. I mean, yeah, he does have her in the videos. There's a chance she's not being paid. I guess she might just do this to be nice. 
It's not necessarily a pay situation. He might have just been using, like, yeah, your wrap-up time. He, he might have just meant that as, like, you have to go soon or something. Uh, it, 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 it might not be... I don't want to assume... It's not nice to assume that this lady is, like, a fucking prostitute or whatever. <laughs> like, we don't need to necessarily assume that of this lady. <laughs> this random lady. She seems fine. She seems like... The, she seems like the nicest person in this video so far, really. <laughs> uh uh but but like uh you know uh i think may it's i guess that's there's a possibility there though i don't know but yeah your number used to be a gal pal yeah oh wow wow holy cow i'm Can sorry I... about that oh it's fine why are you sorry like it's my account it's because yeah you. but i just feel bad that if he found you through my thing, that that got to you through. It's the nature of the beast. Okay. Son. Okay. Don't apologize for the okay. nature of the beast. Okay. Okay. That's what we'll do with uh, part two. Of oh man, yeah. So like, I mean, she's. I mean, I guess, and she must know about him to some extent. That must be part of it. And she's like, it's the nature of the yeah, because you you have to like know about this to some extent. I mean, who? who wouldn't know you you look this guy up or something you find out he's you know uh he he was on tv pr proudly proclaiming he was a virgin and like <clears throat> going on dates <clears throat> with his mom i guess it's better that he's filming this instead of just going on a date with his mother there like that is an improvement um i am wondering who the fucking justin burkhart person on twitter is that it made this possible what does that mean made this possible like m made it possible I, that's why i thought it was being filmed by another guy at first but i think it's just him it seems to just be him holding the camera so did justin burkhart edit this i guess it, it must be that unless justin burkhart is the bull the video is going to be going into more detail. no it wasn't a chris chan situation he went on a date with a woman that his mother also attended and his mom was like he's a wonderful boy and um <clears throat> they put that on tv there was also a camera crew there shockingly it didn't work out for him and he wasn't able to lock that down and now he's here well, uh what we thought of the play mm -hmm. and what we individually think of religion and things and i know i know delcos i see read the super chat i know 18 minutes or so i see and i see the fucking heat sensor map here where this happens but uh i'm we're watching the whole i i mean we might skip at some point but this whole thing is gold kind of our experiences because <clears throat> i think that there's a lot to be i i get that i think there's a lot of discussions that need to be had when yeah there with mormons non-mormons whatever and because I haven't talked it is, about it an, on my channel. And it'll be interesting to see how many people uh, watch I'm this. How many people that watch this have seen uh, the Book of Mormon musical. Uh -huh. And then how many people that haven't. Somebody says, why is he picking his chin? Is he nervous? I mean, obviously he's nervous. Of course he's nervous. But um, 10, 1077 from Exile Postman. I mean, he is kind of in the wrong here. He doesn't really seem too interested in her. He sees her more like a prop. At least she actually wanted to meet him for him. Or money. Probably money. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't think she... It's not like they haven't met before, so they might be friends to some extent, but he definitely does be be using her like a prop, though. I mean, that's why she's on the video and everything, and that's pretty plain to see for her, I'm sure. I'm sure she must feel that way. Um, but, like, yeah, money could be an element of it. When I said, like, she seems like the nicest person in this video, that was factoring him in because of the, the lock, him, lock her down thing. But also, yeah, just this whole, why is she in this video at all? Why do you need to have fucking proof of the fact that you're dating someone? Why would you ever, ever want this, this like, Chris Chan love quest that must be televised? Like, you have just brought this on yourself, and, I mean, at this point, it's like... I don't know if you can even stop it at this point. I don't know. Seen it. 
can still follow along with just the basics, like either they know a Mormon or People they... are late and missed the start of the video. Um, <clears throat> this is a famous guy who was on TV for being a virgin or something, and now he has a YouTube channel. And he's also a Mormon, by the way. And he has a YouTube channel, and somebody sent in a super chat about how this, he went on a, a he recorded himself going on a date with this lady in three parts, uh, where uh, at the, toward the, the, the third act of the video, uh, the, the, the second date that this woman also has planned after him arrives. And we're not to that point yet. We're just approaching act two here, as you can see. But um, uh, the second date arrives at some point, and uh, and and so yeah, there's a the, the description reads in this video we discover that Tracy has a date immediately following this date, which was news to me. So he doesn't know that yet. He knows that she's wrapping up. She has a wrap up time and all of this, and she has to leave and yada yada. But uh, he doesn't yet know that the reason she needs to go is because. Uh, the 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 bull is is arriving soon uh the 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 28 inch penis bull uh, <laughs> who is coming <laughs> to steal his girl uh, uh, i'm afraid he was not able to lock that down pieces without having to go into doctrinal kind of things what super um, chat with lore let's get you home and, which uh, let's get you home yeah there's a merch table what super chat with lore where if there's something inexpensive at the merch table, let me get that for you. Like. Oh, okay, okay. Five dollars. Okay, all right. Uh, five bucks from Delcos. The third person is the one who paid for Skip's date. And she doesn't know she's an atheist law student. Uh, from what I know, she isn't paid to date him. Okay. So she's just, she is the nicest person in this video. She's not here to be, you know, she's not being paid or whatever, she's trying to just throw this guy a bone. You know, help him out, maybe give him some confidence or something, whatever. Uh, so the third guy is the one who paid for the date. So yeah, so he's not rich or anything, he's not paying for, for women. Uh, you know, so, so okay. So Justin Burkhart, there is a guy that's financing this dude's ability to go on dates. I love that, that's beautiful. Sh fucking big shout outs to that guy. That's great. All right. Fish kind of thing. Well, let's go find out. We could do the four pack of things and then divide up uh, the. Uh, I mean, that makes it a little worse, even than if he didn't. I mean, if this is just a nice lady that's going out with him out of the kindness of her heart. And his response to, yeah, I got out of that marriage when I was 19 and I was uh, no longer a Mormon for mysterious reasons. It's like, it's very obvious that there's something bad going on there. And he's just like, yeah, you gotta lock that down. <laughs> it's like, this lady is like being friends with you and being nice to you. I don't know. That's just a, this is a real bad way of looking at that. I don't know. The buttons. That's a good idea. I, and I want the ones to up. up. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, so can uh, we get the, yeah. No. What's it? Keychain magnet or anything else? Um, no, uh... <laughs> Oh, she knows. That's why she's on the date. Maybe she isn't the nicest person in the room. No, she's, 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 she's aware. I think she's here facilitating this so the madness can happen. Which is maybe a little bit nicer than being one of those ladies that, like, would troll date Chris Chan, one of the fake gal pals. Because she's at least actually going out with him. She's being his friend, sort of. But I think she's aware of what that... I think she knows fully well that a video, that a stream like this could have could be the result of a video like this. I don't know. She knows. Oh yeah, no, good for her. I... I mean, I say not the nicest person in the room as if, like, she's not like, a, I like, I was, I was sitting here like, no, that doesn't make sense. That was, I was like, wait, she's not being paid. I don't know. Is she really just being that nice? No, it this makes a little more sense if she's trying to just, 
it, it very innocently cause a little chaos. She's doing it in a nice way. She's just butterfly affecting her way in there, in my opinion. That's my takeaway from this. Is like, you know, by the way, fuck analog horror. Those fucking glue eaters that fucking sit there analyzing the, the jump scare FNAF bullshit. We're over here analyzing the important things, goddammit. Um, but, yeah, you know, my theory here is uh, she's not trying to cause too much chaos. She doesn't want to hurt this guy, you know, break his spirit or anything. She doesn't want to break his mind. But she, uh, she does want to be here and, uh, you know, facilitate this video existing, maybe. Maybe, oh, uh, I mean, the super chat said that she doesn't know that this vi that this date was being paid for by someone else. So, I I mean, I guess that's uh, I I guess that's that that means that she might. I would assume I would think that maybe she's in on that even, but I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah, it's it's not smooth, the best but it's like. It's smooth, but it's jerky. Thank you very much. This right. deserves analysis, yeah. So, this is what we just got. And then uh, let's go stand in Great. front of the Book of Mormon thing. And then this will be the cover of it. <laughs> the YouTube face. Yeah. Basically, I've just been going all day, so... Okay. And they're, now they're walking. We are now into Act 2 of the video, ladies and gentlemen. Act 1, the, the theater house. Act 2, out on the streets. And when Act 3 begins at 18 minutes or so, that's when the bull arrives. That appears to be the, 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 big, the big climax of the, of the, of the film. Um, they're, they're out here, they do be walking, she's talking about how her feet hurt. Tired. <laughs> so... These films aren't bad, though. I don't, I, I believe in form and function, so, uh, it has to look good, but it also has to feel good. So you've been going all day, and then you're heading out camping tonight, right? Yeah, we camping. just might get away so I can look at some stars and walk, walk across this way. Which way? Camping. Camping. Sure. Oh. How long are you going camping for? Uh, just um, over one night. Just one night? One night. Huh, huh, huh. Right on. Yeah, I'm just going to be camping over at a guy's place for one night. Not more than tonight. Is, are you going camping? Are you going? Oh my god, and the way it's edited too, and it's like, I guess this is supposed to be... I don't, I don't know if it's supposed to be innocent. Like, well, yeah, it says innocent question, but, like, the overall takeaway, like, I don't know, he doesn't seem to be too affected. Like, you'd think he wouldn't upload this if he was embarrassed by all of this. But maybe he just doesn't realize that he should be. Uh, are you going camping with someone I know? Oh, my God. Is, innocent are question. Going, are you going camping with someone I know? You're, uh, nice! Your 3.1 seconds of... Exactly 3.1, you timed that out and then she says it's none of his business. Nice! So... So, did you just make an assumption that that, that statement you made is true? When you say... <sighs> so, did you just make... Just... 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 In the rain. <sighs> what a shame. An assumption that, that that statement you made is true? When you say it like that, otherwise, like, I think it's a, but it's a known tell. You never answer my question. When people it do. Really it's a it's a tell though oh now they're arguing and she's genuinely upset with him and like you you never up answer me and and all this stuff and because he like and and they're filming this too oh god innocent question too i love the way he phrases that as innocent qu i don't think i like skippy very much 
I think this guy Skippy's a bit of a cunt, a little bit, in my opinion. Because, yeah, I don't know if it's an innocent question. You've got this woman on the fucking camera. You might as well have her in front of the Jumbotron, in front of the entire fucking Super Bowl. Innocent question. It's like, did it wind up in the video? Did this whole argument that ensued wind up in the video? Well, then it's not really all that innocent, is it? I don't know. Yes. Yes. You didn't answer. You said, so yes. you do think it is someone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Just say that. Just answer me. Yes. But I appreciate uh, that. But I think that I think that how I'm answering it is giving it away. Of like, yeah, it's a tell. When When what? What when I did what? When I ask, is it someone I know? And you hem and haw, then I think it's a tell. Like What was the hem and haw? Her how, staring how? down the camera is like you, have you guys seeing this? You guys know you guys seeing how this is turning hem out? Hem then I, <laughs> like, I think it's a tell. Like What was the hem and haw? What how how's my I said is it I said is it someone I know? And then you go Skippy, you shouldn't Oh, because uh, I paused? Yeah. Oh, well, to be exact, it was 3.1 seconds of silence. You know, actually, what's funny, it was was actually pi seconds of silence. It was actually 3.14 repeating, but, um, you know, uh, to make it simpler, we just, we just round it down to 3.1, just to be exact. So, like, I feel like I know who it is, and that's is totally it? cool. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Would you tell me if I'm right? Oh my god, another time counter. <laughs> okay, well, I think it's a musician, um, a bald, muscly one. Oh, no, not him. Oh, it's not him? No, I'm fucking multiple people. He, Not him tonight. And yet, I know the guy. No? Huh. You know a lot of guys, and apparently you know Reba McIntyre. I know Reba music, and... Why do you say that? Because... You texted it to me. Yeah, because... Oh man, I'm trying to fucking put the moves on her with some Reba. Yeah, because you had said Holy something shit. to me about fancy... Uh, about how you're gonna get dressed up fancy. Oh yeah? And I replied back, Here's your one chance fancy, don't let me down. Oh god. Oh my god, it's on walk. We are so goddamn lucky. We are. We were so lucky the whole night. It's been a great night. Tracy, and by the way, I hope you know that I'm teasing you with it. I don't care that you have another date. <laughs> oh, I hope you know that I'm just teasing you with it uh, when I specifically time out exactly how long. I wonder if he recognizes how much he actually does care that she has another date because cause he sure does. After this? I genuinely don't. I genuinely like, don't. I'm super thrilled. Oh, it's a small lie. On a date. You're absolutely gorgeous, and you were my date to this tonight. You are awesome as can be. We're gonna hang out again to. Oh, man. Tell me why. You know what? I'm just gonna. I, I'll be back in a second. I gotta grab a drink. <clears throat> um. Um. Just, um, yeah, um, here you go. I'll be right back. Without a fire, but a desire to not hear you say, I have a boyfriend and I see the ladies walking Why do all of the 
So, um, poor Skippy, man. Pour one out for Skippy. <laughs> Damn. Finish the talking about it. To rehash some of this. Yeah. To uh, go in depth more of our thoughts of the play. Okay. And see, I think that you ought to hold this so that it's not me that's uh, trying to balance it. But you look so pretty. Holy cow. And I don't know if I was going, to, I think I was going to say this to the camera when you weren't here, but the fact that you're not. God, anytime you're on a date with a woman and you're like, wow, you look so pretty. Wow. <laughs> The fact that you're not wearing a bra has been so sexy Hashtag tonight. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. And Ladies, I think and I think that I And I think that I've done a very good So that's why that's why they've been poking out all night. Well, you know, good for you. I have been enjoying it. Two girl in Oklahoma City. Her name is Sam. She's gonna be an attorney. Okay. She is this is what I get, because I have little tiny titties. <coughs> yeah. And she I, I mean I was I, I was joking, but also, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Now he's getting into titty talk, and I don't know if you want to be talking about this with him. I uh, I don't think actually, I, I think maybe, maybe, maybe he shouldn't see the nipples, honestly. I don't know. Uh, that's just enabling him. She's voluptuous, and she doesn't either. And so if you want to get either perspective, I have both. Well, and Hashtag. I think that I've done a very good job of not staring or huh. talking that way. Noticing, sure, I noticed, but noticing, sure, I brought it up and I'm talking about it and I brought up the bra and everything, but you know, I'm not, I'm not staring. Make a big deal of it until now, but you look absolutely gorgeous. I've, I've loved everything about you being my date tonight. I'm not gonna oh, lie. I was careful about the use of the love word, man. What are you doing with the love word? I just hoping for. The kiss, and I'm not even sure if I'm ruining it now by even, uh, uh, saying that. But uh, I, look at her face, I ruined it. Yeah, no, I don't know. I think it might have been ruined a little while ago. I don't think there was much chance of that. Gosh darn it, I adore you. Oh, uh, like, there's gosh darn it, I adore you. I know you do. Thank you. He's doing this for the point. Like he must want this to happen. He must want people to l to point at this video and laugh. That has to be the point. What else could the point be? What else could the point possibly be? We found the most embarrassing video on the internet. This is the new foam adventure. It's just less bite sized, you know. Like foam adventure was kind of over quick compared to this. Uh, you gotta you gotta sit through this whole fucking thing and process it. Preferably with a group of people. Preferably here on the Deadwing Dork channel. But, um, uh, he has to have known that this was the most embarrassing thing ever. Thank this you. was so much fun. You were such a great date. I mean... Somebody says I this is just every that. Skippy vid. So this is just his whole life. He is just... So, in other words, he is like if Chris Chan didn't have... I mean, I guess we, we don't know if he has autism or something. He very well could. But this is like if Chris Chan wasn't completely insane and fucked up and had like a me a mental insane playground of Sonichus and Magichans and shit where, 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 you know, worlds are colliding and all that. This is like normie Chris Chan, essentially. If he's even still religious, he's probably just also as racist and homophobic, just like Chris Chan. But... You know, um, he's, he's, he's religious and he's on a love quest and it's never going to happen for him. And his mom went on a date with him, not as his date, but that happened. It happened. So man, he's like the, if Chris Chan was neurotypical. That you paid for the things that you paid for on the date. And... To the person who says, and secretly trans, I direct you to the other chat member that says, give it a few years. <laughs> What's that? Independent women do that. Independent I mean, I hate to say it, but you know the meme. You know the meme uh, is always when when guy, when guy some guy realizes he can't get get a woman. You know, that's the, that's the Chris Chen meme. <laughs> women <laughs> you know? do, but not every woman is an independent, awesome woman like you. Oh my so. god, what do you think? Just like gassing her up is going to make her love you? Is that what you really think? Yeah, Salt Lake City, huh? 
you're you're not like other girls. You, you this is awesome. You are, you are awesome. You are smitten with me. That's why you think that. I am smitten, but I don't think I'm as smitten as you think I'm smitten with you. Oh God, I can't believe this. I can't believe nobody suggested this man to before. What what took you people so long? Oh, I see multiple of you who know of this man and none of you were like, hey, you got to check him out. What, what the fuck? You are all I none of you are without sin except for uh, Delcos. Delcos is the only one who's fine. I'll Snellek, you knew about him. Fucking Michael Morbius knew about him. A lot of you knew about him. God damn it! Like I'm, I'm 100. I'm 100 percent, definitely in the category of smitten. Talking about Mary. But I don't think I'm as talking about Mary. As you think I am. Perhaps, perhaps. Well, I mean, you did say you wanted to give him a proposal or whatever. You set him up for it. He shouldn't have gone for it. Like, the moment I hear- you, the moment you hear that, you immediately go, Oh god, oh, don't say I do. That's- I, again, it's the Disco Elysium moment where your brain is like, Whatever you do, do not pick the first thing. D don't say I do, just do not say I do. Ah, oh, I do! <laughs> uh, what's the proposal? God. But he- he went for it. I mean, to her- she shouldn't have maybe said that. If that's- if- unless there was a time before this, because this is part two. We have not seen part one. He could have already been talking about marrying her in part one. Before they even saw the date. Uh, the, the- the- the Book of Mormon, rather. Before they even went on the date. Uh, so- so- so who knows? Who knows? That's true. He's not that smitten. I think though. that if I was as smitten as you think I am, that I would have been more aggressive. Like. I played tonight Aggressive. really cool, didn't I? Huh. Like, have I been okay. up? Have I been up? I I played really cool. Yeah, I was able to. God, I mean, is this like a practice date? Is that the? Is that the concept here? Like a a practice date between two people? Like I'm gonna go on this date and you're gonna teach me how to talk to women and something something like that. That's something I could maybe see it as. Uh, but I don't think so. I think this is just him on a date with a woman be, be asking her for, like, grading. And asking her to give him tips. And like, I was cool, right? I, I was playing it cool? Was I- was I acting cool enough? Uh, I was trying really hard to be cool that time when I was worried about if I would get caught for, uh, filming people inside the- the, the theater. I, I thought that that was really cool. About anything? No, yeah, Guys, we're at 15 minutes and 35 seconds. We're getting real close to the bull. I think she's texting the bull right now, probably. Like, I wasn't uptight about anything that happened the entire night, right? And I wasn't, like, super anxious about anything. I... Does he think this went well for him? Oh, no. He thinks this was good for him. He's looking at the- I'm- I'm recognizing this, like, tone that he has. He's gonna be, like, going home, like, coping, probably, because he probably somewhat knows that this isn't good for him, but he's gonna be going home and he's gonna be like, Oh, yeah! Oh, I wasn't- I wasn't anxious, and everything's fine! And everything's fine! And I did great! Oh, I'm doing really good! Everything's fine! And- and, uh, I- I, f I think- I think he- he's- he might be taking the wrong lessons from this one. I don't know, I think job. everything- that happens, kind of, uh, I let, I feel I did a really good job of letting the night happen. Oh, and I'm on 400 West. What is the kiss? We didn't see the kiss. Was that in part one? Did he try to kiss her at the beginning of the fucking date? What? I guess it, potent, probably in part one, unless there was something I missed about a kiss here. Oh no, I guess earlier he said I'm gonna not get a kiss and... I guess that was what he was talking about. I don't know. He, he kind of made as much of a big deal about that in his, like, milk toast, meek-mannered beta way. He made as big of a deal of that as he did about her cucking him. Or whatever. Uh, so, you know, you know, he made he made a deal of a few things, probably. But just for him to look at this and be like, just the, take away just the positives, like, 
stuff that isn't even really positives like oh yeah i didn't freak out well you kind of did but but like not a- acknowledge the horrible chemistry and just everything that was obviously bad and wrong here i oh i'm parked on 400 west not 300 west okay and should you're we like, get the you're on. and should we get the shoes uh when uh should i get the shoes no, and shirt right now okay I wasn't sure or if we Yeah, he didn't until... lock the kiss closed. He didn't lock it lock it down. The next time so that you can get going on your thing. Should, should I reveal to you who I'm going? I would I am definitely curious, but you don't have to. Or we can just reveal when I'm not filming that way you know it's not on tape. God oh, this is hard. This is really hard to watch. We got about two minutes left before the tactical bull airstrike comes in. And, um, and he really does look like Jim Carrey, or like Drew Carey, you know? He looks a lot like, he's like Drew Carey if he was, if he was a lot, a great deal more pathetic, you know? Um, probably just as deserving of a TV show, if not more, though, I would say. Um, what this guy needs in his life is a meme really. Or I can just promise you that ask, it won't be. I can ask permission first. Ask permission. <laughs> Bull supply crate. Is it Jack? Jared it's Jack. Jack. Jared it's Jack. Jack. Jared Jack Waters. What? Oh my God! He's like, he's got like a list of. Oh, I know. This guy is like secretly on the incel boards. Op, 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 hardcore. Hardcore. He's out here like remembering specific people's full names that he thinks could potentially be, like. Uh, 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 what is the fucking term? What's the term that Chris Chan used for guys that got in the way of his love quest? There was a term, right? I want to say jerk ops, but that's not it. And not mana jerks either. There was like a name for it. But he's got a whole, he's got like names specifically ready and pictures. And he is, and he is like directly showing this guy off too. This guy is the whole incel board. Uh, was there not a name? Uh, was it just jerks? I think it might have just been jerks. Yeah, I guess it was just jer- jerks. But yeah, um, this guy is really doing the soy face. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's doing the soy face. And and for this dude... Wow, and you made this video, and you made this video, and you think it's not going to be like, do you, okay, it has to be for the purpose of people bullying you, right? It has to be like a humiliation fetish. Why would you put this guy's picture in here? And and his full name, why would you do any of this? Oh, God! Okay, there's a there's a pause, so that makes me think that that could be it. He's a stud, by the way. If it's oh my god, he's a stud. If it's him, you know, you could do worse than Jared Jacob John Jingleheimer Schmidt or whatever, who I went to school with 27 years ago. You could do a lot worse than him. You know, he has a real nice cock. He's got a real nice. Not that I ever looked. Not that I looked. I've heard. I've heard. I I, I knew another woman who was fucking him. Not me though. She wasn't fucking me. But she told me he has a real nice cock. Would you tell me no if it? Would you tell me no if it wasn't him? Just drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot, son. Just okay. Drop it like it's hot. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 That's how you do it, baby. Okay. Any so how do? So turned off by any of that weird shit. You guys can't do that. So how do we? End- what? I don't, she's trying to give him some kind of tips, but I I don't even know, man. And tonight. We're coming up to get my right shoes. Wait. Can't do that. So how do we end tonight? Huh. We're coming up to get right shoes. It's not over yet. So don't True. get to the ending before you live in the present moment. Okay. God I'm going to live in the now. Please, God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, it hurts. It just really hurts. You're doing a good job, Skippy. Thanks. So is his legal name Skippy? Is his legal name Skippy? Does he choose to go by Skippy? Because this is like a 48-year-old man calling himself Boku in Japan. Like, going around f- fucking yeah, bo- boku Wa. That's not how... Come on, Skippy. What the fuck are you talking about, Skippy? 
Your parents didn't name you Skippy, and if they did, you sh you know what? If they did, you're the only person who's ever been uh, justified to murder your entire family. You know what? Kill them. It's fine. But if they named you Skippy, if they didn't, go go with whatever other name. Dear God, if it's Gaylord, go with it. Skipper. Skippy is his cuck name. His name is Scott. Bro, Scott is a much better name than Skippy. Holy shit, she says his name's Skippy and it sounds like an insult. She's like, just stick in the moment, Skippy. It's, it sounds like something your fucking grandpa would call you. Oh my god. It has to be a meme. I mean, he has to be in on the meme. He has to be doing this for attention somehow, right? This is impossible for somebody to just be this unaware. Oh god. Oh, here we are in Act 3, everybody. The bull arises. I'm getting from her my shoes and shirt, and so she invited me up and in. I asked her if I could use uh, the restroom. She said yes, and then, uh, by the way, as... I the fucking guy is here, everybody, or he's about to be here, and he is in her apartment right now. Oh, this is... Man, this is... Oh, this is bad. Oh, you don't want this guy to know your apartment number and everything, and oh god, oh dear. Walking towards the bathroom, we've got Tracy Originals uh -huh. on the walls. We've got Tracy Prince on the huh. walls. That's cool. And then... Why would oh, I need a Sangi? Which way? So, I mean, I guess the sangi is for him inside of her apartment, but we don't need a sangi for the bull. That's, I mean, frankly, I'm 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 perfectly okay with this woman not not wanting to be uh, on a date. You know, I don't know, not not wanting to give up her whole evening for Skippy. You know. Yeah. So what? It's organically grown one and picture at a time. Grown one picture at a time. A themed. Oh. Enjoy it. Oh, it's a, it's a Jesus restroom. Okay. Wow. Got the shoes and... Does she have a special fancy restroom for just him, for Jesus-y Jesus restroom, just for, just for him. That's good. So imagine you're coming to a date with a woman, and we're calling him the bull. Maybe we'll see him. I don't know. But we're, you're, like, for all you know, he's just a random guy. He might just be as nerdy as this dude, you know, but, like, in a different way and maybe a little less of a, of a, of a social socially awkward uh, guy. Uh, trying not to use we uh, mean words here. <laughs> but, um, you know, like, we're calling him a bull or whatever, but just, like, whoever. Wh whoever. Whoever. Any, any guy in chat. Imagine you're just on a date or you're going to a date and a woman's like, yeah, meet me at my place. I mean, I guess in this case, he does know this dude, apparently. He does know this guy. So, um, I guess it's not super random. She'd know, I guess she knows, he knows that he, that this guy's gonna be there. But just the fucking concept of going to a woman's place, and you just see this other guy like, oh, Hi there, uh, hi, nice to meet you, ho ho ho, I, I'm gonna leave now, okay, bye! And he scurries out of there with like a little bundle of shit between his arms. I, I just, I mean, man, that would really make me feel great, but not for him. The shirt. It's a bit of a pickle man situation, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay. Oh, the hug. Okay. I love that the word trash is in the side of the screen. Bye, Skippy. Bye, Skippy. Will do. Take it easy, Skippy. Nailed it! You really did it, buddy! She literally has to run. She put on her tennis shoes so that she could run, and... She's going to the train I, station? Um... Well, where's the bull then? Just going to walk and run. Walk and run. I thought the bull showed up at like 18 minutes in or something. Is he not in the video? That is one cool girl. 
Yeah, you've made us you've made us aware of how cool she is. I know, you've said. And if this guy it's another one of these cases where it's clearly not the way he looks or anything. He looks fine. I mean, he, you can make jokes about his face or whatever at this point, but because of how what we know about him and all that and the situation, but like he looks fine. He's a fine-looking guy. He's got a perfectly fine face. And if he wasn't holding a camera and vlogging this date and just being a fucking spazoid this entire time, then maybe he would be able to get something going on with, with a woman, you know? But, man, it's, it really comes down to the personality. He's crying that he didn't get a kiss. It does look like he's crying. He's got the Jordan Peterson tears a little bit. This, like, slow, like, I can't even imagine recording this and just putting it online. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. The long period of time he's not saying anything. He has nothing to say. He has nothing to say. What could you say? What could you say to this? He has nothing to say to this. The long period of silence where he has just absolutely nothing to say. And, 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 and you know this whole time he's thinking that he should probably delete the fucking video. But I say that, you don't know that, because the video's here. Maybe that thought never even passed his fucking mind. As people are saying this is just par for the course for fucking Skippy. Maybe he just literally doesn't know any better. Just this, this, this fucking 20 minute walk of shame out of her apartment. In silence. Not even saying a word to the camera. And not, and, oh. Oh, oh, you could have cut this. You have edited this, too. You edited it. The official date. Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but... Just, just going to walk and run. Just walk and run, brother. What a fun night. <sighs> that is one. Stop remembering Days are just like moments Turned to hours Mother used to say If you want you'll find a way But mother never danced through five showers Thus ends the official date Thus ends the date Go home! Just go home! All that's- There she goes. Oh, there she goes! All that's left to do is just go home and masturbate real quick. Um, uh, so- so somebody in chat says that I'm blowing my musical wad way too early. Well, here she goes. I think the bull is about to come. You mess with the bull, I think you're about to get the horns. There goes Tracy. There goes Tracy! I think that was Tracy. So, Tracy is off to go on a date. Where? Tonight. Can we meet him, please? Good for her. She's gonna be my wing woman. Whew. And I'll have to definitely take her up on that of getting her to help me find a Yeah, girl. does he have a limp? Does he have a limp? I, he might actually have a limp. Maybe he's got something wrong with his leg. Or maybe he's just... I don't know. Maybe he's just walking incorrectly. <laughs> I guess that's also an option. <laughs> Wing woman. So it was a practice date. I guess it may have been a practice date. Uh, sort of. That's how it felt. But he still wanted a kiss and everything. Did he want to practice get married when he was saying I do to her proposal? I... I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Tracy? It's me, Skippy. We just went on a date together. Oh, do I get to find out? I curiously investigate! 
Holy cow, it is Dave Iba. Dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about him tonight earlier on. There he is. It's the bull, everybody. Oh, he's got tattoos. He's got the beard. He's got the car. This man doesn't need somebody to finance his date for him. This man can take a woman out to a real date, Skippy. How does that feel? Damn. This is Dave Iba. Uh, hey, how's it going, Skippy? <laughs> man. <laughs> how's it going, Skippy? <laughs> what is going on? Dude. And you guys met via uh, Instagram? Instagram, yeah. Wow. And she's like my neighbor, kind of. Is that right? I just live up by the Capitol. No kidding. Yeah. And you, it makes so much sense. You guys have so much stuff in common What with all the jogging that you do. Yeah. Oh, uh, boy. He, you know, somebody posted the nerd emoji in chat, and that's illegal. You can't... You know how blackface is offensive to black people? You can't post a uh, nerd emoji. That's offensive to this guy and Jason Gomez and them alone. <laughs> oh man. Why would... Tracy, Ryan. Tracy, you guys are- a... Oh dear God. She thought she was out of this video. This is legendary. Oh God, I want to say this poor woman, but I feel like she's, she's got to be a little bit happy that this is happening, kind of. I mean, not really, cause she didn't want him to know about this guy and and she tried to get out of the house and have them meet up at like a separate location so wait did he follow her to like where she was going because she she said she would be at the train station or something did he like follow her to wherever this is because they're not at the house anymore what the fuck happened you couple you totally have my blessing I went in for, a, I'm not sure if she'll tell you this, so I'll tell it to you, and I'll tell it on camera. He's I went fucking stalking this woman. He, like, I don't want to be, you know, because there's a lot of guys out there who are, you know, low confidence individuals, you know, and they need help with a, a date, and then maybe they're a nice, it's a genuine nice person, but they're just not, whatever, but I'm, I can't help it. I'm sorry, ladies, if you have a, a really cool, nice guy that you know who really wants to date you, but you uh, don't want to date him, don't allow him to be in your apartment ever. Because uh, you will die. You will be murdered eventually by him, most likely. Allegedly, not saying this guy's going to do anything. This did happen like a, a year ago or two or five or something. It was like 2019, I think. So it was a while ago. But, you know, just don't. Just don't. Just don't wind up. Just, you know, it's again, it's the situation. Maybe the old man really did lose his dog. Don't help him. Don't help him find it. Because, really, dogs, you know, he could get another one. It's fine. If the dog really loves him, it'll come back to him. If the dogs run away from him for a good reason, then it'll stay the fuck away. And more than likely, eh, there isn't any fucking dog, and you should just have some caution. You know, maybe it would be nice to help the guy, but uh, just have some caution and don't allow yourself to be fucking murdered. Holy shit. She allowed him into his into her place. And, and and you have to know that she, I mean, she, yeah, she didn't want him to be, I mean, she seems to know about this guy and know that he's a bit of a meme and she was like raising her eyebrows and everything. She's in on the joke a little bit, but I don't think she actually wanted this to happen and, and have this, have, have him track her down and all of this. Oh man, this is weird. For a kiss tonight, uh, in the, uh, in the elevator, right? Uh -huh. With the camera off, trying to be a gentleman. <laughs> and yeah, as the door was closing, camera was off and uh, got rejected. But uh, also, it, it makes sense because she's already given me a let's just be friends talk. But I was like, wait, so is mystery guy going to tell me uh, who he is? But I'm, no, I'm totally happy for you guys. You guys make uh -huh. sense as a couple, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not, we really did kiss. She and uh, the little side eye, yeah. We really did kiss. Uh, just letting you know that, um, we actually did do some things. Um, actually. So, <laughs> enjoy that. You know what? Uh, you are, uh my, uh, my sloppy seconds. How about that? How about that? You know? Um, so, I'm not mad. At all. Not mad. All right, you you have a fun little camping trip. I'm going to be following your car. Have a nice time. I kissed the one time. It was amazing. Yeah. If you haven't kissed her yet, 
Go you'll for it. you'll definitely enjoy it. <laughs> Go for it. Upon Bono's baby, laddie. Oh, 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 she's amazing. Oh, now I'm rooting for you guys as a couple. <laughs> and I should have been filming Tracy's face on that because, uh, I'm just gonna shy away from the camera now. Okay, well, Tracy, I will see you yeah, next shush. time, Dave. Have fun camping tonight. Uh, thanks for uh, letting me. Oh, is it okay that I film you and uh, put you in the uh, video? Consensual. Good for you guys. Man, oh, oh, I oh. like this. I really. Man, I like this. Oh my god. This is unbelievable that he put this up. He uploaded this. He did this himself. He wanted this and it's still on his channel. It's been on his channel for like five years. I like this. Aww. <laughs> this feels right. This this is a really good way to end the night, especially after uh, how rough I made things with the elevator. Holy cow. All right. Uh, I'm going to shut up and go. Uh, yeah. Give me a hug, man. I, I will. Seen you for a while. We went to UVU together. Yeah, man. Ugh. You know what? I got as good I got as good of a hug tonight from Dave Iba as I did. No. No. Any days from no, 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 why would you ever say these things? Why would you ever record these things? You put yourself on a videotape, and you put these people on a videotape, and you uploaded it. You uploaded it. What the fuck are you thinking? You uploaded it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. And Jack, I'm sure Jack Waters would also and second that. And That's Vagor. He kept saying Jack Waters. I was well, like, I guess someone else first, and I'm not going to say who the first person I guess was, and then uh, my who second did you guess, guess was. First? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, and then, and then I guessed Jack, and I <laughs> hadn't guessed you only because the reason why I didn't guess you was because I didn't know how quickly you guys would have gone from uh, following on Facebook. Oh man, I can't deal with this. This. This man, this monster, oh my god. ...to going out, but it and, makes and total the, sense. And the subtitles, I mean, like, I know how he edited it. Into running, ...and I know how you've gotten, and... I mean, like, uh, you know how, like, when you're in school and you're a sophomore, the seniors are, like, the class that you look up to and all of the seniors can do no wrong in your eyes? When I was at UVU, it was, like, when I was a sophomore, Dave and Jack and Vagor were all seniors, and so... So he, oh my god, so he named the people that were like his senpais in school, and he's just like, I knew that I was getting cucked by one of my senpais, one of my like, g older student s classmate people that would bully me and tell me that I didn't get women. I knew it, and he was right. I, he was right. Look at this guy's face, too. Look at this cuck laugh face. He, this dude looks demented. <laughs> this one frame of this guy, he looks like Satan. <laughs> I looked up to these guys and admired them to no end. So. And we did podcasts this, together. He yeah. looked up to you. Wait, they had a podcast? Oh, they had a podcast. Wow, the lore really does go deep. Jack and Dave had a podcast. And Skippy was on the podcast. Oh God. Oh God. So this is really all an interconnected web. Skippy, you gotta leave whatever town you're in. You gotta get away from this. This is, you're living in the Truman Show, man. What the fuck? This is an NTR episode. So, oh, this is awesome. Literally, I can see my car from right here or it, if I could see through that uh, building right there, it's right there. So yeah. Okay. Okay. No. No. So I'm leaving. See you guys. Oh, she is so. Oh God. Oh, the little, 
Like, oh, she's finally gone, dear God. Congrats, you two. Uh, there's part two. Look for part three next week-ish. Oh, I'm glad we ended the night on finding out who the mystery man was. I'm glad I didn't stop recording. Good for them. Good for freaking them. Part three is after he killed them, yeah. Well, uh, he would kill Tracy. I don't think he'd be able to get... Even with the stealth advantage, I don't think he'd be able to get the, the drops on Dave. Dave would just look at him one once and it would be too demoralizing for, for Skippy. He just wouldn't be able to go through with it. And all of a sudden, there's my car right there. All of a sudden. Yeah. No, I think it's possible that he's... I tried to kiss her in the elevator is not a euphemism. Yeah, it's not much of anything, dude. You should not have filmed this and put... You know, there was a guy... I often bring up Gamergate stuff because it's like... It's, it's like referring to the Bible. It's like ancient texts that are scarcely relevant anymore but you know they inform the way we live to some extent and i remember there was a guy virinder jabal who was like this anti-gg guy and he would often post on twitter about how he would like i went on a date today and she she sucked about half of my dick it went really well and I forgot exactly the phrasing, but it was some confusing thing where people were like, so you got, he was like, I got about half of a blowjob, I think was what he said. And people were like, why would you tweet this willingly? What do you mean half of a, what do you mean? Why would you even say that on your Twitter? And that's what this is. Why would you film any of this? Oh my God. Why would you let anybody know about any of this? This isn't endearing. Nobody needs to know this. This is at best hilarious cringe and at worst unwelcome and uncomfortable. I really did try and kiss her in the elevator. It was awkward. Thanks for watching! And it ends on a big sigh. It just ends on a big sigh. That's great. Okay. All right. Now, I know that other people have suggestions. But there's a part three to this. And I want to know... I guess the part three is when him... Date recap the date of Mormons. Hey, everyone. I guess this is part three. You've... I mean, like... And he calls it this in the, com in the description. You've seen parts one and two. Now enjoy the end of this trilogy of cringe. I, I guess it is like... It's the embarrassing thing where you've realized that you're a living meme and that's the best you'll ever be. Like, because he's got the Venmo thing here. And he's like, look how embarrassing this is and how horrendously pathetic I am and how everything I do is embarrassing and wrong. Please give me money. It's like a dancing monkey person. What a, what a horrendously pathetic life. I, it's just sad. It's, it's just sad. And he's not the only one I've seen that's basically just resigned themselves to lol cow as career, as way of life, as, as, as calling. Uh, but I think that's what it is. I think the ultimate thing is, why did he upload this? Because people send him money for this and because... You know, uh, he gets some kind of support, and maybe he just has no nothing else that he could possibly do. And this is the best he can hope for. Which is truly, truly demoralizing. Thanks. For him. For me, it's hilarious. Thanks for watching this video. Before I get to it, though, I want to say a couple of things. This date happened because I met a guy named Justin Burkhart. And Justin Burkhart was working for a band called Chester French. Chester French opened for... I can't... I can't understate how much... I can't overstate how much I love that there is like a, a revolving door of characters in this man's life. There are... It's like suspects. It's like a fucking... It's like a mystery. Like... 
piecing together all of these people that this guy fucking knows. The crime hasn't happened yet, but I'm sure it will. It's only a matter of time. Um, piecing together all of these people that he knows. Dave Iba, who w went to school with him, and this lady that's been in other videos with him, and uh, these people that are fi financing his dates, and he's talking about this like he's getting fucking money from... Alistair Tenpenny from Fallout 3 or some shit. Uh, the guys of Blink-182 when I went to their show. Truly the one piece of lol cows. What the fuck does Blink-182 have to do with this? And because I met a guy named Justin Burkhart. And Justin Burkhart was working for a band called Chester French. Uh -huh. Chester French opened for... Oh. Uh, Chester French is a band. I thought he said working for a man called chest because it's also a name i thought it was like a diff there was this it's all down to this guy because he knows this guy who's in the employ of this guy it's like the marvel cinematic universe uh but no i guess it's a band all right, uh, all right. the guys of blink 182 when i went to their show Oh, well, but before the show, as I was, you know, it's probably it's great for the guys at Blink One Eighty Two to have met a celebrity like like Skip. Uh, hanging out, trying to see if I could meet the guy. Some people just were walking around and asking what we were uh, up to, and just being really nice. And one of those guys was Justin. And Man, that's the first time that the so wait, this is the guy that financed the date. This is the guy who pulled the strings and electioneered the 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 opportunity for uh for skippy to 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 not get laid and justin actually needed uh something he needed a ride oh zara did you just join this is absolutely skippy the virgin zara you just missed truly may i mean it's a four-year-old video but it might be the new best thing of that we found in 2023 i don't know if it beats the user rants but it's it's up there it's pretty good to radio shack as i recall like i think something with his phone busted or uh something and this was before uber and so i said well i'm not doing anything in fact i don't even have uh tickets to the show i'm just here trying to meet blink 182 and he said would you mind giving sarah you just missed a video where he he goes on a date with a woman who's really not seeming like she wants to be there very much, except that she knows that he's a meme and wants to humor him a little bit. And then at the end, he follows her out of her apartment, and it turns out that she has another date with a guy that he knows, and he stalks them, and he talks to them, and he says that he feels great for them, and says that, You should really try kissing her sometime! It's great! And he says... I just hugged him as much as I hugged my date tonight. Haha. <laughs> this is great. This is great. And that was the video. And it was, um, yeah. I mean, somebody in chat earlier said that, like, you couldn't write Skippy. It would seem hyperbolic. It would seem fake. It would seem unrealistic. You would never... Like, <clears throat> I saw a video today. It was a guy talking about, um, there was a really terrible review of the Spider-Man PS4 game. Uh, and this guy is like reviewing, I mean, specifically the story, and this guy is reviewing the story, and he's just like, Why did MJ do this? Because wah, wah, wah. And it was like, because she has a different perspective, and she doesn't need to always do the right thing and the logical thing, because characters do things sometimes. Like, you could look at a character that is like Skippy, and he would just be considered far too illogical to exist as a believable character, though. Like, sometimes people are a little bit illogical. Skippy, you... I, I don't know that you would be able... You, the chat member was right. I don't think you would be able to f exactly create somebody like Skippy. I think that he's a real one-of-a-kind person. I mean, some of you might know I'm... I'm... I'm dabbling in the writing of a book or a series of short stories at least the first one's on the patreon if you want to check it out it's i think it's free on the patreon no maybe it's not it might be two dollars a month i don't know but it's it's on patreon uh they, i got a story up there uh about neckbeard type people and i'm imagining myself trying to script a story about this dude and i could not imagine it i couldn't imagine how i could write something and not be like no that's too much that's too much that's far too silly for somebody to... I would never believe that that's a human be being. Uh, I couldn't believe that that's a real person. 
That's that's uh, I I ridiculous fiction, but no, that's that's just skipping. You're right. I'll see if you do. I'll try. Uh, I'll see if I can get you an extra ticket. And I was like, oh, absolutely. So I took him up to the mall. He got his thing at Radio Shack. Uh, I said, can I add you on Facebook? We became uh, Facebook friends. And so, yeah, they became friends. Right. And here he is to talk with Lady again, Tracy. Oh. I don't look as fancy as I did the other day. Oh, I just look like a again, girl. here's your one chance fancy. Don't let me down. What does that mean? Uh, every time you say the word fancy, I think of the song by Reba McIntyre. Here. She, he brought up this fucking song last time, and she mentioned it, and she remembered the Reba part, but she didn't remember the lyric that he's referencing. Here's your one chance, fancy, don't let me down. Which is a really fucking dumb lyric to be referencing when she says fancy, because, like, it's not her one chance, first of all. I mean, if she looked in your direction you would melt in at her feet and fucking worship her so don't act like it's your one chance don't let me down you're a uh, lot's riding on this date tonight no skippy that's you gotta be consistent with the energy you're putting out there that's not working that's not working um uh um but then she remembers she remembered when he said that to her before the the date you know before the date he said that, and she remembered insofar it was a, as it was a Reba McIntyre lyric. Probably because who the fuck is trying to... I mean, first of all, who's listening to Reba McIntyre? But who's trying to woo a woman with Re Reba McIntyre lyrics? Like, that's gonna be the key to her fucking heart, Reba. Um, and so she remembered that before the date. That was in the last video, if you missed it. He said that to her in the last video. But in this t video, presumably like a week or two has passed, and she doesn't remember that, but he clearly does because he remembers everything, and he m meticulously looks at all of the messages. And, um, and she's like, what the fuck does that mean? Because he's just springing this weird lyric on her. And he's like, oh, the, the Reba song! I'm sorry, I just find that very funny that he's like, he's really stalked a lot on this Reba McIntyre lyric, and she's just like, completely forgotten that he tried to use that to like hit on her or something i, I don't know did you want chance fancy don't let me down yeah oh my goodness hey crap i did the silence speaks volumes oh my goodness h crap what's happening hang on hang on i did the thing that i hang on uh i was accidentally doing the thing that you hated for what do you mean focusing on her breasts Dude, like, I wouldn't have... I... I wouldn't have thought that this was a on, breast uh, focus. He says this when we're not even... I was accidentally doing... We're not even... What do you mean focusing on her breasts? Oh! God, that's great! Those are great captions! Because I would never have considered that that's what you were focusing on. Like, clearly your eyes are. The camera isn't necessarily. But when you were editing it, that's what you were focusing it on. So... You didn't, like, zoom in on her tits or something. You didn't point it directly at her tits. But by saying that you're not intentionally focusing on it... Well, we know that you certainly are unintentionally doing so. The thing that you hated from the last time, where I didn't have it uh, tilted at the right angle, so... I mean, she calls out the tits thing in part two about the, the nipples, I guess. Yeah, because she's got the pokies going on. But, like... But, like... Uh... In this instance, I wouldn't have even considered that. He's just pointing a camera at her, and because she has breasts, I guess we're supposed to immediately pick up on the fact that he's focusing on that. I was not getting that at all until he said so. It looked like I was staring at your boobs. Oh, it does it? Oh, is that? Oh, because of this angle? Yeah. Oh, I guess it kind of does, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, I thought it was just weird that he... I thought he was focusing on the fanny pack. I was focusing on her, what she was doing with the fanny pack. But come to think of it, yeah, I guess it is funny how she... Here's your one chance, <sighs> fancy, don't let me down. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That's, that's great. Say, crap, I did the... Hang on, hang on. And, and she must have given him a look or something, and... Okay, yeah, I guess there is. 
Huh. <laughs> I did the thing that I. Hang on. Uh, I was accidentally doing the thing that you I hated. I really wouldn't have noticed it necessarily until he pointed it out. I guess she noticed it and she pointed it out. Okay, well that's even worse then. From the last time where I didn't have it uh, tilted at the right angle, so it looked like I was staring at your boobs. Yeah, I didn't have it tilted at the right angle, so it was tilted directly. I, uh, I, what is that excuse? I mean... Don't even say anything. God. Oh, God. How do you go through your life and not pick up on any kind of fucking social cues? Just how? How? Sorry. Oh, that sounds typical. Yeah. Sorry about that. Can I play some music for you? Yeah. Anyways. Tracy and I are together doing this thing. Okay. I'm going to turn it off. We're going to go run some more errands. We and then we're gonna record Holly and talk. Shocky yeah. day. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're you're so much fun as a friend. I know. I, let's go. All right. Uh, I'm such a great friend. So he's in this car. I guess he does have a car. He has like a presumably like a little Prius or something. I would assume. He's got a car, and it's got all this weird shit all over it. And she's a great, a really great friend. Sorry, I'm emotional. No, let's do I it. Like how he's like. Wait. Wait, oh god, Skippy gives her a rape whistle. It says in the description that she gets a rape r whistle. Which I didn't realize meant that he gives her one. Oh dear. Um, I guess, okay. Um, I love that he's preemptively put himself in the friend zone, though. Like, she already kind of has, ultimately, but but he's just, like, super accepted that, and he's like, Hey, uh, you're such a great friend. <laughs> like, he doesn't need the indignity of her explicitly friend zoning him, so he just does it himself. Which, you know, you know, you gotta take some initiative at some point. Why are you so awesome? I guess people tell me all the time. Does it get old? my god why is she friends with him why am i so why are you so awesome oh just because yeah people won't shut up about how awesome i am <laughs> uh and and she has to be getting somebody has to be paying her right maybe justin burkhardt is fucking financing her end of the deal too who knows oh god oh god have you been hit on a ton by uh people in your class even though the semester is what a week old one boy introduced me himself to me in passing. Okay. He seemed eager, and he seems really young, but, you know. He seemed kind. eager. You know, like, the young men, and they, like, they know that they come off that way, and they're like, fuck, I'm just really way too excited, but they can't help it, because they're like puppies, like, ha, ha, ha. She says this to him as if he knows anything. His, his fucking brain is two monkeys fighting over a banana. He doesn't know anything. He doesn't have any frame of reference for what she's talking about. God... It's like trying to converse with an alien. I mean, he's like a he's literally like a 45-year-old virgin or something. And and he has no I mean, frame of reference at all for how to act around people or how what would be acceptable to do, what to say, and 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 how to be at, how to behave at all. I mean, like I know puppies, sometimes that like happens puppy. when you're 41 years old as well. Yeah, you like it's like it's like when you're a little boy and you like turn into like a puppy dog. Yep. Yeah. Yep, that happens. Should I just... It's not really a Hawaiian shirt, chat member. It's it's more of a it's more of a fucking perpendicular pattern shirt. It's geometry. It's it's like a bismuth shirt. Flip around? Nope, like because the hand house hand? is just on the other side of the street over there. So you'll turn left here and then we'll turn left again. Okay. Skip is running errands with me, you guys. Brownie points for really good friends. <laughs> God. Skip is running. I. It's like, it's all she can do to not just directly make a joke like, Yeah, I'll probably suck your dick for running errands for me. <laughs> it's, it's all she can do to not just say that directly to him. Like, as a joke. But that's what he, you know, that's definitely what he's... You know, after is brownie points. Okay. Hells yeah. 
I like her sarcasm. It's good okay. sarcasm. Where's your Aaron's sarcasm, cheap. by the way? At my house. At your house? Yeah, I public transit, baby. I've been walking this cute little ass all over Salt Lake City, riding the tracks and the buses, walking around campus. Well, yeah, the bull does appear. She is like in high, in 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 uh, in college. I mean, I I hope she's not in high school. She's she, she appears to be in college. Uh, uh, he is. This guy is like in his forties, and the guy that she's cucking him with is also in his forties, because <laughs> he went to the same school with him. Um, I mean, this is so unbelievably like wow. Did she just fuck him to, like... I mean, but she didn't even really want him to know, is the thing. I don't think she really wanted Skippy to know that she was fucking around with a guy that Skippy knows. She seemed like she didn't want that happening at all. Really. And... And so I can't assume that that's why she fucked him. And why they went camping together and all that. I can't assume that that's mo the mo motivation for it. Uh, so, I mean... No, I mean, I don't know. It's just an incredibly small world. Man, fucking bad luck, Skippy. <laughs> you can say you don't probably deserve it. Uh, maybe we should go to this park. Yeah, yeah, let's, uh... Just go straight. There's another... Tr well, no, you're right. Go right. Okay. So, we arrived in a park. Secluded, far away from where anybody can see us. Um, now to a, a table or something? Sure. Walk this way. Walk this way. Yeah. It's not too bad. Hey, question. Yeah. So, we're going to be discussing yeah. the performance. Uh, uh, the musical. Do they need to? This is such an artificial reason for them to talk again. It's like they need to. They needed to book a second date so that they could like have a fucking nightcap and discuss the fucking date that they went on and have a powwow about it. And not even the date with the move. The 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 the. the musical that they saw L like what what she's understandably confused by this the whole pretense of this that they're going to come and discuss this fucking musical or something and god oh god experiences uh, a wrap a up of are three yeah, they both look dead inside, but for entirely different reasons. Okay. Anything else that you want to discuss? No, I don't. I mean, I think. No, I that should be that should be good. I think those are bathrooms up there near the aviary. Oh, Tracy Aviary. Oh, literally, literally the aviary is named the Tracy Aviary. That's great. It's yeah. your aviary. Yeah. It's true. I do love birds a lot. What's your favorite Horn bird? Apology is one of my hobbies. Um, uh. Uh, my favorite raptor is an American kestrel. So when they're like gonna get prey, they like stop over where the prey is and they actually are able to and like he is asking her this not because he wants to learn about birds or anything you know to some extent i feel like anybody in a relationship if you're trying to be in a relationship with someone or if you actually are in in a relationship with someone there is an element of like I am asking about this thing that you care about because, you know, I want to, I, I want to be communicating with you. You know, I want to reach common ground. It's like, it's a, it's a, it's not necessarily always just, always just intended to like be, oh, I really, really am super interested in the birds. It's just, you know, you're making conversation. But with him, it's just such a very obvious thing that like he is just asking her that so that like 
he can find something. Like, making conversation is, I guess, a way to put it. But he wants to find something that he can use to, like, fucking find favor with her in some way. And just, like... Oh, dude, that bird is beautiful, just like you. Like, oh, that'll do it, Skippy. Like, that's the goal. It's it's such a transparent attempt at, like, whatever it is that he's trying to do here. It's not an attempt at being an actual friend or really trying to talk to her. It doesn't feel that way. So, like, this? If I, this is, like, super slow motion. And hover before they strike. Okay. Yeah, they're the only bird that can do that. It's super special. It looks like restrooms. Right over there. I'll be right back. I'll be right here. Where should we? Like he could have considered. He could have continued talking to her about the bird thing. He could have asked her more questions about that bird. I guess she was looking for a restroom, but like, he he shows zero interest in anything she's even talking about. You know, and like, I don't know why even ask if you don't care. You know, I I, I don't know. Shit. That is a cool bird fact. Yeah, good idea. So, uh, do you want gifts first or uh, as a end? How many are there, Skip? How many, uh, gifts are there? How many gifts are there, Skip? How many gifts did you get me, Skip? How many gifts you got, Skip? Ease up on the gifts, Skip. It's enough with the gifts, Skip. Cool it with the gifts, Skip. Tell them. It's enough of the gifts. A couple, and they're all small. A couple or two? Uh, there's like a half a dozen little things. Oh my Jesus God Christ, a half a dozen things, holy shit. Uh, uh, he's trying to buy her. You know, I keep referencing Disco Elysium. It's, it's, it's one of my favorite games now, but there's a really great part at the end. I don't want to spoil too much, but there's a part where you reunite with a character, and there's a thing throughout the game, there's a path you can follow, a thought you can follow, that's like, hey, you see that cool figurine there? You should, uh, you should get that and win her back. That's a really cool figurine. She'll like that. You should win her back. And because your character has amnesia, he doesn't really know what, you know, who she is or whatever. But toward the end of the game, stuff happens. And, and there's a part where it's like, the figures, you can use the figures. Show her the figure. And, and you do it. And she's like, what did you think this was going to do? This, this, this means nothing to me. This has no effect on me and how I feel and all of the baggage that we have together as a couple and all of this shit. And the, the at literal achievement that you get is like the is called something like the figures do nothing. This guy has not has not yet realized that the figures do nothing. <laughs> He's really do, he really do be trying to buy her with, oh, I just got like six or seven gifts. It's just some, it's like a Hanukkah number of gifts. It's fine. They're all real small. It's like a little dreidel and like, you know, I got you a, I got you this jizz rag that I used, uh, uh thinking of you. Um, it's, it, it's, uh, it's, it's, I sprayed it with some, some, some room freshener. So it's nice. You have a hard time answering questions directly. I do, but, are there? uh, six to eight. But each, that's if you count each one as a gift. Like, I've given you three of my fake business cards, and do you count each one as a gift? Or <laughs> it's a few small things. Okay. I'll start with let's do, let's, let's do that. Gifts. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, hold this. People that have followed my channel for a while know uh, what you're getting. And, oh, let's start with the thing that I, I had mean. promised you. Oh, God, he's been scheming about this. Oh, dear God. Uh, because other dates that I've been on have given something similar to people. I mean, like, this has to be a thing for her because she, he is known. He is a known perma-virgin who was on TV for how literally unfuckable and undateable he actually is. And... He, he was on TV, like, almost a decade ago at this point. I don't know, it was like... Somebody in chat said he's been doing this for 13 years. So, I mean, like, he got famous at some point nearly a decade ago. I think it was, like, 2015 or something. 
when he was on like TV. I think he was he on Doctor Phil too. He was on a, he was at least on like one show where everybody like PewDiePie I think and like all these people H three everybody was clowning on this super awkward virgin guy who went on a date that the the TV show organized or something. I, I don't know what the details of it were, but it was him and his mom and they were on a date together with this lady and his mom was trying to convince him and uh, convince her to date him and all of this stuff and like he's like a semi-famous internet individual at this point so this lady has to just be on board for this like well he's probably not going to murder me she's taken her she's rolled the dice that he's not gonna murder her you know like i guess she's she's cast her fucking net as far as that goes hopefully she's right i really hope she's right maybe she's still alive uh, but, you, you know, like, and this is 2019 too, so this would have been not too long after all of that. Not too far removed from when he was actually on TV. And I could see somebody just being like, yeah, I want to date this guy to get, you know, an idea of what he's actually like. And I mean, like, we can already see looking at his fucking footage what he's actually like. I mean, the fucking cracks show immediately. Uh, but... Yeah, no, it's just interesting. Like, I'm, I'm wondering this whole time, like, is she being paid? Whatever. Um, but now it's like, no, he is just, like, kind of famous enough that she would probably just be down for this and be like, yeah, he's, he's probably harmless, and this is probably going to be really funny, which it is. Um, and I guess good for her, because this is tremendous content. I mean... Thank God to Tracy, really. She really, I mean, the date maybe couldn't have happened without that other guy paying for it, but, I mean, we're all here for Tracy, and none of this would have happened without Tracy. Really, here but for the, we're hearing the, gr the grace of Tracy right now. Okay, so let's uh, give you the thing. That She's a brave all, lady. You're getting. Virgin Diaries, yes. A cord. Yeah. Uh, I told her I had one of these, and she needs one of these, and so. Do I owe you? You don't owe me anything. It's a gift. And then... He's if, had sex and normal relationships, so he's playing a character. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's so... Chat member, I don't know if you recognize that that's so much worse. Oh, no. Do you mean that he's merely pretending to be retarded? <sighs> if that's... I mean, like, if it's a whole, if the whole thing is a setup, if this whole thing is like a, a, a scripted thing that he's doing, and she's in on it, and the, the, the date, because that's all a little too small world, isn't it? Maybe it's all too good to be true. It might be too good to be true. But, I mean, like, if he's actually just being like this on purpose, just ruining his reputation just intern to be literally like an internet lol cow like nick Akato or whatever for 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 career clout you know to get money out of it or something oh that's so much worse no because at least he's innocent if he's not oh oh man if this is all just a character that's really unfortunate i mean if it's just a character in like I mean, unfortunate for him. It, like, if he thinks that he... Uh, merely pretending and all of that. If the whole thing is fake, which I really don't think that it could all just be fake. I don't know. I don't know about that. But maybe. Uh. as the other gifts, it is a Skippy... Yeah, chat member, show yourself. It was like a Lisa or something? What the fuck? I mean, I could believe that he's had relationships and even sex. I just don't... I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean he's going to stop being... I mean, he, fu he might have fucking won the lottery once, but, like... That doesn't mean he's going to stop being like this completely. So, like, just because he may have had relationships and sex... I mean, that doesn't ne necessarily mean... Like, as far... I think it's pretty well documented. At least I'm... I never had any trouble believing, anyway that Chris Chan actually did finally lose his virginity. Like, it was to a, a, a prostitute or whatever. But, like, it was, it was, it was, a, it, you know, he did. He did. And it didn't really change anything about him, actually. So, like, I don't think that necessarily pre precludes him just actually being like this. 
I don't know. Oh shit, we're getting some swag up in Prize here. Prize bag. Okay. Laid out, laid out, laid out. All right. People that know me know that I have stickers, rape whistles, uh, other paraphernalia. So there's an I know Skippy button, a get Skippy married button, a Skippy. Go over these again, Skippy. Stickers, rape whistles. Just, you know, casually dropping in. You know, there's some band-aids. There's a bit of Lysol. There's a thing of duct tape. A couple of rape whistles. There's a change of underpants. There's some uh, ready-to-eat meal kits. There's a... Uh, Sacrificial deed, uh, 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 fucking t totem for for my deity, like yeah, just all normal stuff. Uh, other paraphernalia. So there's an I know Skippy button, a get Skippy married button, a Skippy my bear. Get Skippy married. Yeah, you gotta lock it down. Very good, Mormon friend. This is uh, awesome. this is random. I had a Milwaukee Brewers, uh, baseball team. Uh, keychain for you. Here okay. is the no sex for you bracelet. Oh and God. then skippy.com. Uh, my Skippy, my very good Mormon friend, I'm skippy.com and it's like him with bears. Oh god. Oh god, I mean like if he is playing a character if this is him pretending to be and I mean by playing a character I mean like he's the joke, he's the one man play, the 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 joke is him like lol cow as career type thing. I I just I just don't know. I mean this is so this is so far. This is so far to go and if he's aware of what he's doing. God, that's really sad. You don't have any other fucking skills? You look like you're probably good with computers. Just fucking program something. I don't know. You don't have to be like this. Fuck. Uh, here is... The Rape Whistle. Thanks to Skippy. There's somebody in chat named Skippy XLXLXL who says, Have you seen the Skippy website yet? No, 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 Skippy XLXLXL. I have not seen it yet. No. Didn't get raped. What? The Rape Whistle. Thanks to Skippy, I didn't get raped. It's a. So it's a brand. This is. <clears throat> This is Skippy merch. I thought it was just a regular run-of-the-mill rape whistle, the kind you get from Sears, you know? But, uh, no, this is the kind of specialized Skippy rape whistle that only Skippy can provide you. Y you know, because who better to go to, really, than... Uh, uh, anyways, but I'm sure it's fine, I'm sure it's fine. Um, something something takes one to no one. You're welcome. Yeah, and then uh, here's uh, then here's some skipper. Here's some stickers. Skippy can't be beat. Skippy is my friend. Mm -hmm. Specialized Skippy rape whistle. Then watch out for celebrities. Honestly. And then here's uh, my three fake business cards, including my first fake business card, which is uh, my old driver's license. But yeah, good times. So those are good times. Yeah, I love how she. Um, here's uh, my three fake business cards. My fake including business my cards. First fake business card, which is. Uh, hey camera. My old driver's license. But yeah. Good times. So those are your gifts. Thanks, Skip. You bet. Thanks, Skip. Did she eat? Skippy is. Here's Wait. some skipper. Here's some stickers. Skippy can't be beat. Skippy is... What did she say there? What did she say? You're welcome. Yeah. And then uh, here's... Uh, then here's some skipper... Here's some stickers. Skippy can't be beat. Skippy is... I have no idea what she tried to say there, but I like that she blows on the rape whistle. Some skipper...
You're welcome. Yeah. And then uh, here's uh, then here's some. You know what? I got the thanks to Skippy. You know, I mean, as the comment says, gives a girl a rape whistle. A girl immediately uses rape whistle. <laughs> Dear God. Skipper, here's some stickers. Skippy can't be beat. Skippy is my friend. Mm -hmm. Caution, watch out for a celebrity. So this is... I just... For one thing, too, we need to acknowledge... What a fucking absolute piece of shit Skippy is. I mean, like... I Just in this scenario alone. Because he comes to this woman like... Oh, can I give you your gifts now? And we're all cringing because that's embarrassing. But then it turns out it's not even that that we should be cringing for. Because the actual reason that we should be cringing is that what he's really doing, he didn't buy her anything. He didn't get her any roses or any fucking chocolates or anything. He got her a bunch of shit. He got her a bunch of fucking shit that he probably has lying around that no one's fucking buying. And, and he just, it's all got his shitty fucking, it's got his name all over it. And it's all him. And he's just this fucking egotistical jackass. And the whole thing has got his fucking face all over it. I'm sure she loves that. Really thoughtful gift. You really thought about yourself for her. I'm glad you thought about yourself for her, because she probably doesn't think of you very much at all. Jeez. And then here's uh, my three fake business cards, including my first fake business card, which is uh, my old driver's license. But yeah, good times. So those are your gifts. Yeah, somebody says I'd love to see Ashens review that on a couch. <laughs> Yeah, it'd be the dot 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 dot, and then it would just be the rape whistle sound. Um, you bet. Thanks, Skip. And I told this you. This is a shit ton, actually. It's like yeah. A, but honestly, wow. And I'll hold on. Oh, honestly, since, wow. Okay, who is that focus. person? That's me. Doesn't even look like you. How old is this photograph? Uh, I this. eight years. Eight years. Jesus Christ, he's got merch that dates back. That, and that's eight years ago as of 2019 so that's like well before he was on tv or anything god he really was maybe he was inspired by chris chan he might have seen the fucking love quest and been like you know what i if he can do it i can do it too and that was what got the wheels in motion eight years old i think so something like that But I was going to give it to her huh, at the end huh, of huh. our first date. Uh, let's see. Uh, Your eyes. From, yeah. Um, oh. Oh. Oh, man. Uh, oh, sorry. No. That is a good face. Uh, just cover the part that has the address on it. Huh, huh. You can cut it out. I can't. I don't. I'm not good at editing. Anyways, I just want- Well, that sounds like your fucking problem, Skippy. Why don't you fucking get better at editing? <sighs> She's like, you can cut it out. I'm not good at editing! <laughs> Fuck. Well, then don't film the videos, Skippy. God, there's no way I can say the name Skippy without it feeling wrong. Like, it's it feels like I'm really just bullying him every time I say his name. Same with her, with her. Every fucking time she calls him, she calls him Skippy. It's just like, it's like, yeah, thanks, Skippy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks for the gift, Skippy. Fuck I that. I just won't edit that part in. Yeah, she needed the fucking whistle when he was following her. Let's talk about the Book of Mormon. So. It takes like 10 minutes to figure out Adobe Premiere. That's right. It doesn't take that long at all. It's not that difficult. You could just fucking learn it. You're like in your 40s, dude. Do you know anything? Like he's such a... No wonder this is his fucking career path. He has to be like a...
pathetic e beggar. What did you think of like, the play? Have you been thinking? Loser on the internet. Here he is talking about the play as if anybody actually gives a shit about the fucking play in this scenario. I'm sure Book of Mormon is great, you know? I'm sure it's a fucking great, like, whatever musical. But it's, uh. But it's, uh, real fucking. It's real fucking inconsequential in this scenario. Thinking about it a lot since, or, uh. Or, uh, yeah, I mean, have I definitely talked the... about it and definitely made like jokes with my friends and different people because. <sighs> and what did you think of the overall of the huh, date? Huh. Date. Yeah. Okay. Moving on from the play. Yeah, the date. Uh huh. Um... Of our three dates, how was? The... Where does that date rank for you? This is his career. Date number one didn't get filmed, even though he did have a part one. He did have a part one. Uh, I don't know what the part one was, though. He always asks the same questions. Yeah, I don't know what she's supposed to even say anymore, you know? I Ring liked going to the Book of Mormon. Ring the dates uh, from hey, wait, best so the to one worst. The one yeah, from, be from best to worst. First one we went to squatters. First one was squatters. Second one. So I don't know. I think I'm good on more Skippy. If we're gonna definitely watch Skippy in the future, that's fine. One was thrift. I'm all hopped up on Skippy. I think that's fine. Uh, I'm probably gonna end the stream here because uh, I wasn't expecting to go, you know, on Skippy for uh, a while. I gotta, I gotta eat some dinner. Uh, I, I don't know the 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 Skippy situation. It was quite a scene. It was a wild scene, man. Um, so, so, uh, uh, th uh thank you, uh, for pe everybody joining me on the Skippy scenario. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna be reading some super chats here. We're probably gonna be back tomorrow with a spooky stream, I think. Uh, some kind of spooky stream. Maybe not tomorrow, but whenever the next stream is, it'll be a spooky one. Uh, and, uh, we'll be doing something scary. We'll definitely be doing more skippy in the future more skippy will absolutely be happening we'll look at his website we'll look at some more of the merch and stuff we'll see what else is available man man skippy how about that that was great that was a really good suggestion um so um uh two two pounds from dusty the kitty boglin boy is spawning hexus from fern gully jesus christ yeah here we thought the worst thing we'd see tonight was Fucking King Cobra making the the sewer mead or whatever. Uh, Ten bucks from Queen Nidus. Been gone for a while. Missed my favorite claw paw. Well, you know, welcome, welcome. I hope that this was this was certainly a fucking enjoyable stream for me. So I hope that you had fun. Uh, this was this was absolutely in, in, in just insanity. Uh, Silly Palm became a member. Thank you very much, Silly Palm. Now that's a funny name. And you know what? I think after all of what we saw tonight. No. What you saw was cringe. Uh, I, thank you very much, Silly Palm. Anytime that someone I know asks me what I mean by being sallowed, I happily referred to them. Refer to them. Refer them to your channel, Deadwing. Many thanks for that. Being sallowed. What, like showing people degeneracy, I guess? You could just show them the movie Sallow, I guess. That'd be another option. Bilge became a member. Thank you! Uh, free membership milestone chat? Cool. Plenus. Uh, yeah, well, pl Plenus right there. I uh, I would agree with that. This was a very Plenusy stream, and we had a pretty good Plenusy time, really. Uh, that guy wanted to get his Plenus out at several points. Uh, King Cobra made some some plenacy beverages. Uh, it was it was great. Um, uh, t two bucks from Paige Hernandez. So many chores to do. Thanks for making it fun. Well, you're welcome for uh, being there. I hope you had I hope you had a good time. Um, this uh, this 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 was definitely uh, this was definitely something. I'm probably gonna have to turn this into a video or an, or at least just a a, a live clip or something. The fucking Skippy Saga, man. I mean, we didn't even see part one. We didn't even see part one. Maybe we will watch part one. I don't know. We might have to save that for another time. 
Five bucks for Michael Morbius. Skippy is a rabbit hole. Yeah, I read this one. Yeah, he is. He's definitely a rabbit hole. Five bucks from Autistic Wolf. I think what she said, I'm focusing on what the camera's focusing on. She was talking about the cameraman zooming in on her chest. Pretty gross, to be honest. Is that what it, she meant at the beginning of the fucking video when she said that? I didn't, again, I wasn't really necessarily noticing that. I thought he was just pointing the camera awkwardly. But I guess it was him, like, looking at her tits. Which is, uh, uh you know, um... Uh, it's really, it's her fault for not wearing a bra. Hey, keep them, keep them puppies wrapped up if you don't want me looking at them. Hey. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. I'm on Skippy's side here. <laughs> no, no, uh, that is a, that's a little strange, yeah. And he continued to do it in that other video, too, so it's clearly... She even said, like, wow, that's so unlike you, or something like that. Like, that's, uh, <laughs> that's definitely... <laughs> seems to be a recurring thing with him. I uh, can't believe it. Um... Let me see here. Uh, two bucks from uh, Merc Infinite, Odd Future. This sucks, I'm two hours late to the stream. Ah, well, you have to go back. Uh, ten bucks, se ten bucks seventy-seven from Exiled Postman. Talking about how he is in the wrong here. Yeah, no, he's definitely just kind of using her as a prop. I don't think she was after his money or anything. I don't think he has any. I don't think anybody paid her, really. I think it's just, he's, he, like I said, he's just famous enough that this is, like, a funny thing for her to do. <laughs> and like yeah fuck it i got a couple hours oh, i'll go like she got a free ticket to book of mormon you know and like whatever the rest of it is just funny a little bit probably also making her uncomfortable i'm sure but it has to be a little bit funny too i mean jesus christ two bucks from autistic wolf this guy is literally drew carey meth edition i don't know about meth god edition maybe uh it is like drew carey in between when he was really fat and when he now he's really thin uh it's like it's like some right but right in the middle um uh let me see snellek became a member thank you very much spin. right into membership spin. spin right into membership uh five bucks from dr valance are we gonna watch the unholy fusion of drew carey and adam ruins everything kidnap some poor girl uh well i don't think it was a kidnapping necessarily but you know he certainly was following her to a, a car that wasn't hers outside of her apartment uh, um, after she clearly asked him to leave and everything. So, you know, I don't know. It is surprising that she decided to continue seeing him after that point. That That is a kind of amazing. That is kind of amazing. I mean, again, I guess you got, you got to facilitate more funny things happening. Uh, but shit, dog. 721 from Exiled Postman. Man, Skippy's quite a character. Anyway, on an unrelated note, have you ever seen the show You? Uh, I haven't, but I'm aware, uh, I think, of something in that show. I remember there was a guy... There was some kind of creepy... There's Somewhere in my memory exists a creepy guy who was, like, into a woman because she, she was into the show You and, like there was she something to do with like a creepy guy on that show and he was being creepy and like he mis misinterpreted it i don't know i've heard of it i've definitely heard of it and it exists in my memory somewhere in some capacity that i kind of vaguely know what you're talking about 279 from u9 vk can they run skippy over man like come on sorry <laughs> don't road kill skippy <laughs> come on man don't could don't make some guy have to shovel skippy off the fucking street that's not fair to that guy uh, uh no uh no i think that they i mean who wouldn't want to be in that scenario that's really funny i don't know maybe it's just me i feel like that was a really funny scenario i couldn't imagine for anybody i mean at least I can't imagine why he would want to be involved, but for anybody else involved in that scenario, man, that's a... I would have been like, no, Skippy, why don't you come with us? Oh, well, chat, come ride with us, it's fine. No, there's a room next to ours, babe, it's fine. Oh, we won't make too much noise, Skippy, like, you could have kept that going, man, <laughs> like... Just see, I mean, I guess at that point he probably would murder you, that would turn into a double murder-suicide. At that point. I guess you don't want to trigger Skippy too much. <laughs> you gotta be a little careful with Skippy. Uh, 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 two, 210 from Victor Rodriguez Martinez. This is truly a Skippy moment. <laughs> yeah. 
It sure is, man. Two bucks from Autistic Wolf. This whole video is a real skiga moment sketch. It's it's very sketchy. It's very skippy. It's very sketchy. Uh, seven bucks from uh, U9VK. Skippy needs to go to Wreckersville and find some cute girls his age. Well, if you missed it earlier, we had a whole interlude that it, that alluded to that. So don't worry. That's been covered. He's already. We've already taken the customary trip to Ruckersville. Um, so, uh, two bucks from Victor Victor Rodriguez Martinez. Whenever I feel sad, I will think of Skippy. Yeah, you know it's not so bad. It's it's it's. I mean, I always say it's it's like the uh, Star Wars holiday special where they they're like now to life on Tatooine. Where we rich to, we wish to enrich your lives by comparison. Where it's literally like, here's some life on this desert fuck planet. Isn't this terrible? Aren't you guys living pretty good? Don't worry, you're, you know, uh, your mom died? Ah, oh, whatever. Uh, at least you don't have a volcano brain that you pour beer into and, and B. Arthur is there or something. Uh, and, and that's what this channel is, basically. You know, everything might not be that great for you. You might have lost your job. You might have lost your girl. You might have lost your house. You might have lost everything because you lost your car keys and now you're an idiot doom spiral. And that's fair. But, you know, at least you're not Skippy, man. It could always be worse. Two bucks from Victor Rodriguez Martinez. At least, uh, I hope we catch us a good one tonight. We did. <laughs> We did, we did, yes, uh, we did, uh, we, we did, that was the description of the stream, uh, and I really hope that we reeled in a, a, a good big fish, uh, we made sure that that happened, uh, two bucks from Delcos, also emailed about the hand, well, I'll, I'll check that at some point, I don't get to the email that often, but I'll, I'll keep that in mind, I don't know what you need to ask me about my hand, but you brought me Skippy, so I can't, I, I can't I can't argue necessarily I owe you I owe you that uh, two bucks from autistic wolf skip skip is just a stranger than fiction RL NPC uh, I I don't know RL uh, I'm not sure what RL is but he is a he's definitely stranger than fiction for for sure real life NPC I guess Re real life yeah he's a real life NPC I would say so yeah uh, he is a, he is a person that is, as a larger than life personality, you know, you, you look at Skippy and you go, that's, now that's a character, right there, that's a, that's a character, that's a, it's a very a characteristic individual, five bucks from Paige Hernandez, I'm going to thank God every day that I was born into Catholicism. <laughs> yeah, you know, you get to, I mean, it could be... Yeah, listen, the Mormons get the underwear, all right? You know, the G's or whatever. Uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Here's a grape whistle so you don't get graped. Yeah, well, and it's got Skippy's name on it. And, like, I didn't get raped because of Skippy or something like that. I mean, I have to assume that he's playing into it to some extent, but, again... Lest we all forget rule number one, ladies and gentlemen, of this stream. The number one rule of this stream, it's still shitposting even if you're being ironic. Even if you're like, haha, it's funny because I'm playing a character who's a fucking idiot. And it's funny because I'm completely just ruining my whole life because of content. And that's funny, isn't it? Ahaha, the joke's on you. No, 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 no. The joke, I assure you, is on you, Skippy. If you think that you're doing this for attention or whatever, well, you're certainly getting it, but... I mean, I just hope that it's worth it, you know? I guess it's up to you, ultimately. I just hope it's worth it. Um, so, uh, three bucks from Kate. Uh, no message. There was probably, like, a little dancing guy emoji or something, but it doesn't show on, on Streamlabs. But thank you. Uh, two bucks from Autistic Wolf. Is this the real life... Is this forever? Ah! And we got a little, uh, we got a little nerd emoji there. And then 483 from Exile Postman. Is Skippy an Alpha, Beta, Sigma, Plimbo, or other? Um, well, I would say he's probably, it's, you know, it's definitely, he's not an Alpha. He might be an Alpha. I, uh, he, 
He's definitely an alpha. I think he's absolutely an alpha. You know what? We're gonna make it a we're gonna make it a poll. We're gonna make it a poll. Um Skippy. Alpha Omega Beta and uh Well no, I won't do that. Well I'll just keep it at the three. I'm just going to keep it to Alpha, Omega, and Beta. No Plimbo. No, wait, but Sigma. No, I guess Omega isn't the male. Are there Omega males? Do we have Omega males? Did I just invent that? Do we need an, we need an Omega male? You know what? Skippy might be an Omega male. I'm going to keep that. He's an Omega male. Potentially. He's a, that's an option for you. But Sigma is the fourth option. It was going to be other. It was going to be Smegma male or other. You have the option to choose. Now, Alpha seems like unlikely, right? You look at Skippy, you don't think he's an Alpha. But on the other hand, he is taking charge. He's going out there. He's asking these women on dates. He's getting them on dates. He's, you know, that's Alpha behavior to some extent. Now, Beta, I think the be Beta's obvious. Beta's really the obvious one. You want to jump to Beta. He seems like a Beta. Sigma... I think if anything, he's probably a Sigma. If, 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 if anything other than Beta, he's probably a Sigma, you know? Like, I think that's safe. I think that's safe. Omega is leading with 60, though. Okay, everybody's going with him. All right. Fine, he's an Omega male. Fine. It's all because I said Omega male and you fucking sheeple all voted for Omega. That's just, that's just embarrassing. That's embarrassing. You should do all. You should all do better. Five bucks from Aurelius. Your job might be a joke. You might be broke. Your love life might be DOA. <laughs> you know, it's like you're always stuck in second gear, Skippy. You know, it hasn't been your day, your week, your month, or even your 13 years that you've been fucking doing this. But you know what? We'll be here for you sometime at a later date. We will absolutely watch more Skippy. We'll be here for you. Um... Uh, thank you everybody for watching the stream. I hope you had fun. This was definitely a good one. I definitely had a good time. Uh, we are, we are going to look at more Skippy eventually. T and tomorrow or next stream, whenever it is, will not be spooky. Or will, will be spooky. Uh, this stream was not spooky. The next stream will be spooky. We're going to be doing maybe spooky fanfics. We're maybe going to be doing spooky, more VHS uh, analog horror stuff maybe because those fucking... Those, I, I said it before, but those fucking glue eaters, we need to look at some more of the fucking comments on those videos. Those were really giving me just conniption fits of laughter looking at these fucking people critically analyzing the, the horrible garbage that we were watching. Um, so maybe more of that. There's all sorts of spooky things we could maybe do. Uh, so stick around for next stream. We're going to do another ha Halloween-themed October stream. Uh, thank you, everybody, once again. And, uh, and penis. Possibly in Michigan!